It's gonna fall off. I'm... Oh, I know. That's such a so that that looks. That, that is. It good. almost looks intentionally like what Sora does. Yeah. When you... <laughs> Speaking of, <laughs> we're fucking doing it. Hi, Zaklo. We're fucking doing this. Oh, there we go. It's is... happening. Oh, need someone? Nice. Yeah, I need someone who was interested uh, in other Kingdom Hearts fans. So yeah! yeah! Good to have someone in the audience. Hello! It's me, your lord. And I'm the brave. And I'm, I'm the court wizard. Oh, yeah. The, well, there's a reason why I didn't exactly print them all out and all the, Oh, wait. I remember on the PS4, like, the music is fucking loud. Let's see how... Uh, the Switch is also. Yeah, I might have to readjust the... Fair, I mean, less than music probably. needs to be loud. Okay, I mean, that's the whole thing. So yeah. I kind of, I kind of have to strike a balance. So uh, that's fine right now. Yeah. What a good fucking thing. Yeah, it is. Okay, so you're gonna see us uh, do the white man shuffle. Oh boy. <laughs> so here's how this is gonna work. Now, normally, being a Kingdom Hearts game, and since we're technically doing an LP of it, usually, we would have our props. Obviously. Okay, that's not the last thing. But it's also a very different kind of LP, and like, for most of it, we're just gonna be chilling, like, reminiscing, basically. And then, obviously, some plot will happen in the very long run. <laughs> yeah, very, very but, like, long run. <laughs> but, like, in the meantime, it's mostly like a chill but it's also going to be now, so it's going to be very different. But, uh, yeah, so we're here to basically use that as an excuse to talk about, uh, our memories of this fucking franchise, because uh, now it's, I mean, especially now, it's, we're nearing 20 years of, hold on a minute. Oh, no. No! 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 no. This needs to, oh, God, oh, no, hold on. I forgot about that. Hold it. Okay, sorry, cutting the sound. I don't even remember how to fucking play. All right. There's no way to hold. Oh, I have to hold? Yeah. No, I meant to skip that. Oh, you can't. I can't? No, you have oh, to play it. Oh, good fucking start. Okay. It's the first game. So, of course, they start with this. Yeah, so all right. So, because of the way the progression is kind of saved on the unless you delete your entire save, like the progression of even the "Quote unquote story mode" is on a system basis, and also because I wanted an excuse to actually have the the dearly beloved track on the, on the Smash Ultimate. I thought, you know what? It will be a lot easier and will allow me to test out the Switch setup, like by playing the Switch version. So that's the first time I boot it straight up, mm -hmm. and uh, well. First obstacle of the day, <laughs> the fucking copyright shit. Thank God none of those tracks are gonna be, I forgot again, are gonna be an issue in the story. Hopefully. Thank God. Nah, if I remember correctly, there's none of the Utada Ikaru songs like, in the story. They're in the game, but no, that's right. as part of the story progress, there's none of it. Mm -hmm. And that's it! Woo! Okay, back to sound. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so... Okay. We're okay. We're alright. We're out of it. I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> Every adventure I had a view from battle to encounter with friends and fall through melodies and memories. Get it? Some adventures, they take place in that sort of shit. In these songy valleys and enemies to run a musical staff to reach the end and clear the song. You can use different buttons to attack, jump, and use abilities and more. Why would tomorrow anyway? Time your actions match the timing guide, the other circle will gradually shrink, blah blah blah. So, just to be 100% sure, let's remember where we're, at, where we're at at this point. After Sora, like, did all this shit and disappeared, you have to remember that a year later, everyone was still looking for him. <laughs> and then, on one end, there's like what everybody else was doing. Like the whole Twilight Town group that was uh, kind of trying to ask around and really decrypting Answer the Wise's bullshit, basically. Answer the Wise and the others were with Kyrie, as since she has been part of this heart for so long, and for so long, I mean, it wasn't that long, but you know, she's still technically there's a lot of things. It and like she's like, she's, gonna, go she's going into sleep to 
like dive through her memories to find her connection with him and possibly find a clue. Which is what we're taking care of in this game. And in the meantime, Riku was also like also found like the, the data shit that he with Sid's help and uh, all the the Hollow Bastion crew got into the toughest video game thing ever. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And apparently Riku found a clue as well. So that's taken care of. And in the meantime, Sora met Cole Sprouse, Dylan Sprouse, fuck it. And uh I actually legitimately forgot which one of the two. But regardless, that's yeah, Yozora, which is already kind of weird. Is it and Shibuya, is it Shibuya in, uh, with uh, Yozora? Or, I think. And here's the thing, I don't know if there is one canon outcome to this fight, as both of them have different endings. Right. Or if there's going to be a thing where both are canon. Hey, I don't know. I need it. Hey, I need it. Well, probably yes. I have a feeling there might be a thing where both are gonna be somewhat canon, actually. Yeah. So on one end, Zora has been crystallized, and Yazora is apparently trying to save him after fucking him up. So who knows what that fucking means? Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, well, Sora defeated him, and he's like, oh well, shit, that's pretty cool, I guess. And then we see what it's seems it's to be Luxor. I haven't seen. Oh, you haven't seen the victory one. Oh, so you don't even know the Either of the of the of that battle of those battle videos. Oh shit! Oh, so yeah, he's okay. So sorry, let me just take the time to summarize this really quickly, as quickly as I can, I guess. Uh, so if you lose, which is probably gonna happen at least once, <laughs> um, the first time you lose, Sora kind of like seems to fall but gets crystallized a little. It seems to be a lot reminiscent of the. What's the name? Fabula Nova Crystallis thing that uh, Final yeah. Fantasy was supposed to do but ended up never doing. And Yozora then wakes up in a car. Alad fucking knocked this! Almost shot for shot the original Versus 13 trailer. <laughs> and he says Sora's line, you know, I've been having these weird thoughts lately. Like, is any of this for real or not? And Sora also chimes in there and you're like, that's odd. If you win against him, He's like, well, I guess my power is not needed for right now. And like, he kind of fades away, but he still wakes up out of Noctis in the car. Except th this time you see his driver, or see, you hear and see the haircut of his driver. To say like, uh, what was what was the exact line? It's something like, look, look around, Commander. Impressive, is it not? And judging from the haircut, the hair color, and the voice, that's Luxord. Finally and you're like, uh, and then the same line happens again, and then it cuts, and you're like, okay, now I have more questions than I entered. All right, that's cool. <sighs> so yeah, that's where we're at. So basically, now we're taking care of Kyrie's side of trying to find Sora. Yep. Hopefully that goes. As a good excuse to for Nomura to <laughs> finally have a fucking rhythm yeah, game. Okay, all right. I, I forget. I, I, I for, it's been a while. I forgot. Who looks where? I was like, is it that the same guy I'm thinking about? Yes. It's, it's the it's the one guy that looks normal in the, the whole organization. Yeah. The, the one that looks the most like something out of uh, Final Fantasy. Yeah. Oh, oh he looks yeah. the most normal. And f on what game is that? What do you mean? The the one where you fight uh, Yasora. Oh, that's the DLC of Rema uh, That's Remind. Okay, I have to play that one. Yeah, you have to beat all the data battles and then you unlock that shit. As if it wasn't hard enough. Yeah, no, that's that's rough. We have God, it was a blast. I don't think we did... We did them. It wasn't the best... It, right, it wasn't our... The, but not the one with Yazora. Yes, we did. Uh, we also did that one, yeah. Yeah. It was... Remember. Yeah, no, it, it was a while ago, to be fair. It was like, I think right around the beginning of the pandemic. Yeah. Where we couldn't... Uh, it's where everything people. was fucked. We couldn't hang out anymore, so we had to do it for, uh, like from our house. Yeah. Uh, I think maybe I missed that one. Yeah, I, th I think you did. I think you might have missed the last part of it. Yeah. I think you, uh, you, you, uh, you and us, we, uh, you and I, we were there for the. Yeah, I uh, think I was alone, but like, for like the actual, he like, was DLC. actually in the chat room. Yeah, we were we were in the DLC it, during like the. Uh, that makes more DLC sense part? because I do not. I, yeah. 
No, I mean, that's fair. Alright, here's a trick. Man! I see Bill. That was... You know, I did not know what to expect of Kingdom Hearts the first time that I ever touched that fucking game. All I knew is that, oh, Final Fantasy and Disney, I was still under the belief that, there, that it might be some sort of turn-based thing. And turns out, like, no. But boy, that was quite a fucking opening. That whole thing. I was like, what am I... What am I playing? Yeah, I... Get that feeling the first time. We all, we, I think we all get that reaction in some way or another. I mean, I, but at least we're at least when the, when you start the first game, you know that's like that's a good start. You know that it's like, well, I mean, that's gonna be explained the game. I suppose that makes sense. Well, you were like, wow, okay, hold on, what did I just get into? What is Kingdom? What the also, fuck? <laughs> I did not speak English at the time. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. I mean, that's fair. I mean, I still remember the time when I played Banjo-Kazooie for the first time. There wasn't a, a change of... Don't worry, the up. characters also don't speak English. <laughs> but <laughs> you can change the, the, the language like you, you could in, a, in the second Rayman game, so... I was looking at the... the oh my god, like, that's... Like, yeah. What's going on? Yeah. No, 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 the, like, the second Rayman game is like, yeah, that was the first game that I was actually was like, oh, whoa, I can change language, that's gonna be useful. I know, right? That was a classic. Oh man. More tips and all that shit. Oh so, yeah, got Which all excellent, so the I have version is the original is the original version because it's a French video game. Of course, yeah. yeah. Alright, so So everybody in chat, do not hesitate to bring up I forgot we get thrown into it. Do not hesitate to speak of your memories whenever it's relevant to whatever we're whatever song we're playing. I think that's gonna be an easier way to do this, is whatever song we're playing, we're gonna talk about what this brings into our minds. Is it only Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts game, or is it a few Disney songs also? A few Disney songs as a bonus, not in the story mode. Ah, uh, of course, right. because copyright. Uh, do I not have? Do I the, uh... What were you trying to do? I was trying to look for a menu, but there's that too, but that's not what I was looking for. But sure, fuck it, let's go I with that. I think the menu is the X button. I'm pretty sure it was a first. I, I'll look into it. Uh, I'm actually. Uh, there's one thing I want to check. Is there any. Oh boy. Uh, I don't know. I felt like the timing was a little weird. But I guess it's fine. Huh. I'll, I'll see where that takes us. So yeah, we still haven't unlocked even the other modes, like the track selection. You probably need to. Uh, yeah, you, said you need to play at least one game, uh, one song. Yeah, because uh, so you can. Yeah. yeah, what is X then? Oh no, X is just to zoom in and out. Oh, it's probably the st uh, start then or plus. No, I pressed everything. I'm pretty sure I could. Maybe it'll be later. All right, let's go. Yeah. So first off, like we have the the two songs, obviously. Yeah, the obvious ones. So, you know, I think the idea was that there's one thing I really love, that you could do that and the game will just play for it. It's not going to count as score, but you can see the game being played. Like, right, yeah. That can help that you with... Uh, that was always something that I loved to see uh, doing in the, back when the, I first played the intro them. Like, getting to see it, how it plays out. Yeah. So that I could... That helps. That helps a lot. All right, let's see, see like, if I'm... What the time let's is. see if I'm too much out of practice. Oh, man, we're going to do all proud. Not necessarily, but I mean, let's see if this is working out. 
Now, I can't be talking as much, hopefully. Now, the guy who's really unlucky in this transaction is uh, Elianis, because, like, no chance to even understand what exactly is happening. We're going into the fucking... the thing where my brain is already pretty well, like, adjusted to what I'm seeing. Bit out of practice, yeah, no, that makes sense. I mean, the last time, last time we uh, played, we were we were trying to see who could finish the game the first. Turns out I did. Yeah, because you had free time. I had work. <laughs> yes. So boy, I remember spending like God, what was it? Like I think I think six hours straight on the game in one day. I wish I could have done that. So what button did you press? You press A or L or R. And or L and or R. Yeah, because there are... In cases like these, you need to press all at the same time, or two at the same time. You know what? Yeah, you know what? Like, anything with this, Nope, you're, you're definitely pretty right on that. It's like, it still feels... It still feels Kingdom Hearts. I believe, uh... Despite it being a very different kind of game. I believe the jump is the, uh... It would be... The B? Okay, yeah. And you need to hold it if you want to glide for it to get the, the green notes. Yeah. And, uh, what's the other thing? Uh... See, now I'm able to play that in the track selection. Yeah. Yeah, I got that shit. That's cool. Woo! And also, uh, to, uh, to get the triangle notes, you need to press X. Ah! What? What was that? I pressed down for some reason, that's weird. Each song has three missions, complete missions collect like star, which you need to open gates. Open blue gates collect like the matching color, gates that require gold, get blah blah blah, all that shit. I mean, that's pretty straightforward. What was the red one? Uh. Open the red one when you open the blue one? Something like that? Nah, that, that thing is different, but uh, the team menu is not working. It's clearly not. Oh. That's fucking weird. Uh, plus. Oh. Okay, you can understand the fucking confusion, Joe. And you know that that's fair. Oh, that's a huge design oversight. No, that's a, that's entirely fair. I was confused so, at first. So you can have four different teams. Right. Yes, there are stats. Also, it also works on the Switch moves over time. When they want you to, to, to press one of the buttons, they won't tell you A or whatever because they have to account if you're playing on a single Joy-Con. So they actually tell you which button when you look at it upright or when whatever the style you're, uh, you're holding it. Um, yeah. Okay, so yeah, there's a whole synthesis thing. Oh uh, man, of course there is. Man, that took a while. But there's a lot of things. There's items you can use for uh, during the, the levels. There's the settings and all that. So that you can even unlock some fucking tracks straight up. Mostly like character tracks. There's that thing where we can fucking play the, so the track from. Right? That uh, this game is a pick up and play. Kind of oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, of course. Yeah. There we go. It's still canon to the to the lore, so you have to complete it. Obviously. <laughs> but obviously, there we go. We have a whole new world. Beauty of the Beast, Circle of Life, part of the world. That's where you take those. Yeah. All right. Let's go back to another song. So, though, as we have seen, like that was a stark fucking like contrast to like go to this weird. Thing the first time you play as dive into the heart, and then you wake up on a tropical island. You're like, What's going on? What's happening? Ow, where are my parents? I'm sure they're fine, but what the fuck? So, yeah, so yeah, like potions are items you used for uh, you know, an emergency, 
thing, but there's also shit that, for example, item boost, XP boost, and summoning star. Summons can make you feel bad or else they get really healing, rhythm points, bonuses, and more. So fuck it, we're gonna do that. Let's bring King Mickey in there. Love hearing this song when I'm kicking <laughs> Riku's ass on the island. Yeah. yeah. Also determined. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, and, and oh, one thing, up. depending on the team you play as, Mickey has different looks. Oh, I didn't notice that. It's just not a big fan like me. I also had a problem. I mean, I don't want to say it, but... No, he doesn't automatically do it, but those that he takes part in, they get more points. Fascinating though how when your brain gets used to it, how some bits feel fucking natural. As usual, you know, nothing, nothing new on this channel. <laughs> Those are not even the hardest parts, so I mean, you know. Right. But, uh, good. Still got hey! Chess. He does the animation. Yeah! Of course he does. I mean, by the way, this, as you might have noticed, this is all reused assets, basically. Yeah. And this is made of the. I, now that I think about that, I don't think this show this showed up when I knew the game, but this is made on the fucking Unity engine. That's right. It's probably because this was planned to actually be on, like, on pretty much every system. Mm -hmm. So it was like, you know what, for now, but. Like, because I'm going to have to put some work in to uh, port the games to the... Oh, there we go. And that's the thing, like, if you redo, like, the world... Well, first of all, you don't even really redo it. Every path is unlocked already, and you don't get the cutscene to, uh, after some specific bits. And I was like, you know what? Nah, fuck it. Let's, uh... Except for the end. Led by a mysterious voice... There we go. Sora stepped through the door that marked the start of his journey. Like we're also having Sarah, a bit of a Rita summary to like all right. To let's see the world beyond our island. Cause this franchise is twenty One day, years old. So let's Sora just came face to face with a man from another world. Mm-hmm. That's that's the only thing Meanwhile, that this man is. Meanwhile, Donald and Goofy received a letter from Mickey asking them to find the holder of a certain key. That went well. Reasonably well. Instead, they found this jackass. <laughs> <laughs> And Riku was already gone. <laughs> so yeah, man, I remember like when I first like played that, like I only recognized Selfie at the start. I was like, who the fuck are those two boobers? Like as I think FF10 came out like around the same time as King Hearts 1, I believe. So like it was a bit of cross. Uh, or a yeah. bit before maybe it's I think weird. slightly before. Ouch. Probably a good idea. Melody of Fate, that's not the trick. Night of Fate. Hey! It's one of those tracks in Smash! You know, that Smash character, Sora. <laughs> July 19th, 2001, for FF10. Then uh, Kingdom Hearts came after, it was in, 20, in 2002. Ah, okay. Alright, so. Yes, I have a they problem. They were the hot new Kingdom Hearts character, so. Yeah. Makes sense. This makes sense, yeah. And then they pulled a bunch of the uh seven characters in the Oh, 
stress that this is Valentine. For no reason. I guess it looks cool. To be fair, that's the coolest thing. <laughs> to be fair. When we get to the, uh, the Little Mermaid section of, the, of this game, do we redo the uh, songs they did in Kingdom Hearts 2? No. One of them. Uh, one of them? Uh, is it the Ursula one? one? No, I mean we saw that it might not even be in uh, it might not even be in the story mode, but we saw that part of your world was in the list of things to, uh, okay. of songs to synthesize. So maybe there would have been a, a little Easter egg. Callback. Swim this way, hold <laughs> Oh god, no. I can't take it anymore. Yeah. And Travis would, Dennis, would be pretty cool if Sora got a wooden sword for the first half of the song and didn't change to a few like, That would have been nice, but that I mean, really cool, they didn't put, it's not the kind of game where they put that much work in. <laughs> yeah, I know, that I was gonna, well, maybe not that much work in. I mean, not, for, like, not in that sense, yeah. but they put a lot of work on. Every, for every difficult, like, every track, I feel like, I feel like just the enemies that they chose for the specific parts of every track feel appropriate. I don't know how to explain it other than that. Let's go for the XP. Oh, wait. One of them is the power without items. Oh, does that mean without? Without any items, yeah. Okay. Itemless. Alright then. Can you do that? I'm sure you can do that. Yeah, I'll, no, easily. Honestly, the, the only time I might actually change the difficulty might be the finale. Honestly. Fair enough. You know what? I I'm can proud. See and because it's a different type, there are more than just that type of gameplay moments. That's what right. you're seeing. Because the boss battles are very different. They have a different gameplay style. And, uh, yes, I said boss battle. You said boss battle. And also, it can be a little distracting. I don't know if that's the right word. Yeah. I would say yeah. It's hard to follow a little bit. Not to mention, there are so few of those that... Did we talk about it? Or did we leave yeah, we'll oh, fucking leave it to see. That eventually, we'll see. I mean, we still have to find the... We find the... Uh, dark side? Dark side, yes. Yeah. Because there's that actually not going to be a boss fight, but... No, that's not ah. I know. If anything, just put it in the... Uh, well, the boss fight, that's sure that should have been that. That's why you get used to the L and R. Yeah, no, I am not. I, For those fast moments. Uh, You're not doing this with only one button. Actually, I kind of did. And that's stupid. I know. Don't. Also, you have not seen what happens later uh, on prom mode. You cannot do it that way. I know. By the way, one thing I really love the fucking thing that uh, that tells you how long you have for the track left at the bottom left. Yeah, that's cool. That's always neat to know. That's also very useful. Because I remember that I don't think they have that in the case where they were just like when the music stops, the music stops. Ooh. <laughs> Right. 
Like the fun thing I love, for example, is how, like you saw the little like was there were all shadows before, but as we got more intense, like now it's like now and now it's air soldiers. Like there's a there's almost a thematic to it. Like it's fucking weird. It plays the exact same thing, but it, won't, it feels appropriate. The, the, the thing you know about the gameplay style is that uh, it's not... It's a little bit difficult to explain like just how different they are, because like the boss battles are... We will see, that's for sure. We will see, yeah, but the, the, the other one gameplay style that you can see is uh, the one that was at the very beginning of the game, where as we just floating in midair with, with the notes like, the carrying. My heart managed to yeah. escape to safety inside Sora. Boy, that shit complicated so much stuff. Sora, <laughs> and an unfamiliar it's fucking funny to see like this whole like, like here's that one event that happened. That changed everything. <laughs> like we're basically gonna be going through the games in music because of that. Some of the actually, hold on, I believe we are able to. Yeah. Whee! Yeah, no, this, this game has a lot of stages. Actually, 150 songs. Yeah. Not all of them being featured in that, uh... In, yeah, in this particular, uh... In this particular mode, of course. So, this is Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> this is, uh, Birth by Sleep. Dream Drop Distance. Uh, this is Kingdom Hearts 2. No, that's... Oh, no, wait, that's the sign that says the unlock... Oh, no, oh there's even recoded right there. Yeah, there's a bit for reco. There's a small. There's bit for two. This is all two. Except this, I believe this is a side. Uh, ah, there's a few things. A but yeah, there's a, there's obviously 358 somewhere. There's no idea. Uh, uh, yeah. Chain of memories. And we're about to get more. Ah. Yeah, the first fucking fight against Armored Rayman. That was a thing. Fucking armored Rayman. <laughs> I, I was still confused. Did you all wait? No, you the guys did not start with two, with one. But you guys in the chat, that moment where this game was, this franchise is pretty good at teasing us. And honestly, the thing of like, okay, come on, Sora, uh, Donald, Goofy, can you fucking? Come at the right fucking room at the right time, please. Beat up! For fuck's sake! That's what we're playing this for! And that fucking moment I guess that boss fight's like, oh finally they're here! God damn it! And then you see them do really dumb shit because they're on their they're on their default AI pattern. <laughs> It did not fuck around much. Yeah, the Kingdom Hearts one was one of the other ones. ones. They're very different from both games. Yeah. Especially what you expected from Square Enix. Well, obviously Square Enix already had a lot of different stuff, but when you thought Square Enix, you immediately thought of Final Fantasy. Like. But right now, many RPGs are actually have different elements. Action RPGs like Kingdom Hearts. Because it's popular now, but when it first came out, it was very different. Yeah. Oh yeah. I dare I say niche? Yeah, pretty much. Oh. And it probably turned. The fact it was so different probably turned off the. I think that's why also it was like, yeah, but it is Disney, though. It's Disney. That will probably. Ooh, I just fucked that one up. Yeah. Oh, bravely dare we hear him. Okay. Well, I mean, that is also a thing with him, but still, good point. I'll try to lower that. Let's see. Also, right. that mic is a little... It is a little bit... Yeah, well, we'll try, let's try to adjust that, but let's see. I don't expect to speak up, but yeah, let's see. Let's see how that goes. How well, about now? I would like to think that we can hear you better now. Oh, cutscene. 
Having now. been chosen by the Keyblade, Sora I teamed skip? up with yeah. Donald and Goofy. I skip? Yeah, you didn't do Grand Traverse Town at all. How did I the not fucking notice that? Together through many was I that locked into talking? Did I realize? I would say so, yeah. You know what? I was very curious how come I went straight to that song. Oh, fuck me. Hold on. <laughs> in the dark depths. I had that cutscene that was only in Final Mix. Hold on, did I seriously just fucking skip? If that's the case, I gotta fucking fix that. Yeah, Atlantica. It's not that fucking bad. When it was an actual level. It's some yeah, world's guest characters when we join your team. Oh, yay! Yeah. Phantoms appear when you have a guest in your team. Guest characters leave after the end of the song. They will appear if you keep playing the same song. Like, they will. Also, they... I literally. You're right! I totally went past it! Wow! Yeah. Also, what do you Also, they replace Donald. They do. <laughs> I think it's random. I believe it's random, yes. But yeah. But yes, no, absolutely, they skip Donald with his fuck. Alright, well, I can do that. Okay, can we talk about it? Wait, about this fucking track that is out of fucking nowhere. One of the most soothing what? Like, among the most soothing. Yeah, uh, yes. well, I mean, they, they surpassed it afterwards. I mean, uh, honestly, the Lazy Afternoons is still by far probably the most calming fucking yes. track in the franchise. And also, I like uh, to use it for uh, something like a cafe and a D&D and a, and a &D game or something. Yeah. Yeah. I'm always down for people to use more King of Hearts tracks in their fucking D&D campaign because it works really good. Although, maybe we can't stream them because copyright music. Well, well, good thing we're not streaming our D&D games. Yeah. But <laughs> I also like the fact that, like, there's always a different rhythm that you have to follow sometimes, depending on, like, which melody you need to, uh, you need to press. Like, sometimes like, which layer of the track yeah, you're playing? Yeah, like, sometimes it's the main melody that's at the pro forefront of the mix, and sometimes it's the one that's in the back. Yeah. I always find that interesting, especially in rhythm games. Because I remember that that was a, 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 one of the big reasons why sometimes I have problems with a certain song in the rhythm, especially on higher difficulties. Because like I was always following the main melody, but then when they went for like the melody in the back, I was like, wait, what am I following? What? I, huh? Oops, huh? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of hard to do a rhythm game for a violin song, a violin track. Because it seems so to be doing pretty fucking well. It's so, uh, it's so uh, flowing. Thanks, Paul Phantom. Maybe the real Kingdom Hearts were the DMCAs we made along the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Trevor's Town Steam is one of those songs that give me a bit of anxiety, probably because of again Rayman Boss. You mean that? That one specifically? Not the the, the fight music? But that I could believe. But that that, that one gives you anxiety. That's. Oh, I'm just like, like, oh, like, ah, this, this, this level, I remember. Ah, that was my first entry. That's, that's the level with the boss, oh god. Okay, well, he still doesn't know why that's the case, so I guess fair enough. Sometimes shit just gives you. Hey, another track of, uh. Another track of, uh, Smash, let's go. Woo! Smash! Woo! I'll go and get myself some water. Not a problem. But yeah, no, this is, uh... Where do we switch? What? Where do we switch? Where do we switch what? The, the controller. Oh! Is it for, uh... For I... I didn't know if that was implied or not. I was thinking, hey, maybe, but I don't remember implying that, but, uh... Okay. Sure, that can, we can probably work that out, honestly. I, I would like that. Honestly? The active The thing I was wondering about was... The, did I just see the resolution go to shit for a second? The resolution is totally kind of switching on us. A little bit. We are playing on the Switch, so I mean, I'm not expecting great, like, technical quality, honestly. Let's be real. I don't think I'm being too harsh by saying that. 
it's cool. I just missed a barrel. Yeah, a barrel. At least the barrel doesn't hurt you. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, missing a barrel, you won't take damage. Although I would find it very funny if, like... Yeah, you just... You ran into the crate of the barrel that you missed? That'd be amazing, though. <laughs> That'd be very funny. Ah! Ooh. Ooh. Hey, I'm out of breath. What can I say? Honestly... Still kinda got it for someone who can touch us in the bit. Honestly, yeah. I know how I managed to hit that when I pressed the wrong button, but okay. You did it! Ah, I guess that clip is gonna have to leave for the moment. That's fair. Well, thanks for tuning in at least for a bit. That's neat. Ice Cream Beat is the better rhythm game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but, oh boy, yeah. Ah, I mean, I still did pretty good there, so that's cool. Reward for collecting, I, we can now do that and track selection, simple and clean. Good, good, we can nuke the channel, let's go. <laughs> that's what I always wanted, an excuse to nuke the channel. That's right, it's cleared because it's not complete. Right, because I Because was... we missed one. Not what I wanted to do, but fuck it. Hey, now we can hey! do that! Yay! Yeah. I don't remember. Clear a song and track selection to unlock. I think 10 field battle songs to unlock. That makes sense. Right. Speaking of, was it? No, we didn't check. Uh, hold on, let me check. Yeah, I am free to the team menu. You can learn it. Oh, wait, I can access the team menu? Okay, hold on. I might be able to do a thing then. Is there any... Oh no, we literally need, like, a piece of the song. I think the only one you can do right now is Kyrie, but even then you probably don't have enough shards for that. Yeah. Because, I mean, there are some songs that are not going to be a copyright issue, and also that we can... Uh, <laughs> that we can play. That is fun, like, I don't mind, like, going out of it and doing that. I just realized I never looked at, uh... You know what? I, I, I wanted to do a thing like, alright, it's gonna be almost like a regular LP and all that, but it's like, you know what? Nah, it doesn't fully feel right, personally. At the same time, I did want to do it. Hmm. Because I had art made for that. Oh, you did? Yeah, but now. Plans well, we, have changed a little bit. We, we can do just like the, you know, super best friends do. No, like, hold on. Hold just on. like stop midway, even though we didn't say, like, thank you all for watching. See you next time. Yeah, sure, but hold on. There. Let's try. Let's try a new thing. Actually, I'm pretty sure there has to be a media files. Video images. Let's see. I would have to go into. Okay, I can at least show off the art I had made and maybe do a thing. Uh, we can do like super best friends and just separate and close the channel. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> ah, I don't think they're gonna be transparent though. They are transparent. Look at that. It's me. I'm currently the one playing right now, I guess. <laughs> it's a bit, uh... It's a bit abrasive, but, uh... Oh, wait, hold on. I think I know what I can do with that. Oh, yeah, the first Disney World, and... Boy, you start with a weird one! Yeah! It's like, alright, hey! Well, I mean, the game doesn't necessarily tell you that should be the first one, but it is very enemy with the... Yeah, no, enemy, the fact that it's... ...enemy song. levels. But it's... But then you go in, and it's like, okay, so what do we... We're starting with one hell of a fucking world. Okay. Uh, clear without item. Oh, right. They're all wrong by default. I should remember that. Well, here's the thing. There are two teams that the leader of the team is a character I played. There's one that it's a character he played. And there's one that's a character you played. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, hmm. I, I, I was that. thinking of that. I think that's kind of fitting. Okay, so let's see how that goes. Because I think I can... 
Yeah, hold on. Let me just... Oh, right. You want to try and fit it to uh, the Soros. Hold on, it's fucking hard to... Maybe you need to... Uh, minimize there we go! There! Now it's my head as the help for it. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, bringing in pictures is actually super simple, so that's good to know. Good, I finally tested that out. Oh, you have a little picture now. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I literally already have the persona design for it. Like, that, uh, the, that transition would be fucking easy. It would that's be very easy, easy yes. But I still don't know. It brings. I mean, I'm not an I'm not a VTubing expert. It brings another set of issues. Yeah. So. I mean, I still remember when uh, Shemfly tried to do a, a, a slight VTuber uh, thing at twice. One time was uh, when she had her own uh, avatar. As a uh, her her OC named Boxer. Yeah, that, that one. Yeah, but then there was another one before then where she did Okami as a dog. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> that was so funny. That was so funny. Yeah. She was a, I think she was a Shiba. Which, which of course, yeah. <laughs> because that was the uh, that was the uh, one of the default uh, dog for. Uh, the, uh, the app that she was using. Man. Although if we uh, if we end up playing, we'll probably not do it on promo, especially me because probably not. I never played that game. I mean, no, that's fair enough. I mean, I I get it. Probably not. There is one thing I will say though. If there are some tracks that I know are like okay, no, those are fucking awesome. I might just like. Pick them for proud mode and go, okay, no, now look at this happen. This is fucking, <laughs> like, on your end, you're gonna have one where it's like, you know what, no, no, I, I, we have to do this for the visual of what it's gonna fucking look like on proud mode. We could play them twice. One for him and one for... Yeah, him. but I mean, I mean, <laughs> but you, that, that's a lot of... Yeah, no, okay, that's fair. Ah, Spring of the Olympus is actually much later. Hey, I was wondering, I felt like those were missing. That's right, they're the I, I always I hate it when this when I see those teeth. <laughs> Fair enough. It's like much better way, it's a, it's almost the right kind the right kind of well of whale. So yeah, no, you have to eat. I know, that's the worst part. Dodge all range attacks by jumping. I mean that's how you dodge them anyway, but Alright. I love how the items are not there to actually make the thing easier, so whatever, um, no matter how good you play, like, you, it's because of your skills. That's true. There's no cheat items. Or Just an items that prevents you from game overing immediately. Or the Phantom says, let me play Persona 2 at least in Cowboys. Yeah, I don't know why he suddenly got into that, but I mean, sure. Maybe Atlas will one day remember those games exist, but at the same time, they're so old now, I can kind of understand why that would be hard to sell them now. Especially with how Persona is nowadays, it's what made it become big. Yeah. No, Persona also is. Persona 2 is the one with Hitler. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that might be another uh, Sorry, what? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hitler is in one of the Persona games. I think it's about like revival of uh, something about uh, like, uh, rumors becoming real. What Persona game is not about rumors? Yeah, but specifically this one, the, the rumors actually become real, and that's the problem. And also a part of the gameplay where you're gonna like. You can say, oh yeah, I heard uh, something, uh, heard, uh, something is, uh, is on sale right now. It's because of the 
also your rumor about the neo Nazis or something, and hey, guess who shows up? Because of the, the Shadow World. I saw Hitler in the street, I swear! Something. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that's why. Okay, it's, it's, I'm so not used to have so many people in the chat to to, uh, to make me actually read it more often. I miss the messages. <laughs> you guys think I'm doing Persona? I don't fucking know. Don't it's know an idea, that. but to do that, this would be this. We would need to all be 100 fucking percent sure of what we're fucking doing. Yeah, here. especially because like. Persona is a long game. Yeah. Like, that's that's gonna be something that's gonna also, last Also, which longer. version do we play for some of the games? Is that... Honest, honestly, well, let's be real for a second. If there was one I failed to play, I still think it would be 5. Yeah. Because, yeah. honestly, this one has a lot, even for the visual style and all that, but there's... Streamer is ignoring the chat. Yeah, well... The chat has ignored me for so long, I'm so used to that! By the way, currently Aladdin is available to join us, so... Yeah, nice. So you can play. Woo! Yeah! I don't know why I'm putting that on, but fuck it. I don't need it. So, for this one... It. For this one... I don't need it. I need it! <laughs> Man! That was one of those worlds I was very eager to visit the first time. I and, see why. and that was also one of the. I mean, all worlds did that, but honestly, this is where I realized they are nailing the soundtrack. This is like. I was like, how? What track would you put, like, there? What would you do with the music there? And it's like. This is perfect. Although I will say that. And also the thing, sorry, just wanted to mention also, also the thing of not falling into the trap for most worlds to put a, one of the Disney songs in for most worlds. Yeah. Because it's so easy to just be like, yeah, we can put this song, it's so popular, it'll be perfect. Yeah. Da 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 da. Alright. So what do you want to say? I don't know what to say. One thing I remember being jarring is going back from 2 to 1, back and backwards, and I think Aladdin not being the dervish of death that he is in, the, in 2. <laughs> like, yeah, everyone I'm gonna, what happened to you? Everyone got a bit more anime in 2. <laughs> it was kind of crazy. Like, in that sense, surprisingly, Sorry. The, the Disney characters felt really normal in 3. Yeah. It felt like they didn't do any crazy shit. Yeah, honestly that's fair enough. Although, having Little Mermaid being a, a, a caster, a yeah. magic caster, was like, okay. Well, it, they did... Actually, she's more of an artificer because they did explain her like the names of her abilities imply that they're all like potion weird shit that she has, like oh, it, almost weird. an alchemist. Or like she found that shit. Like I don't know what that is, but it shoots fireballs. Bam! <laughs> I don't know what that is. Fuck my dad! I don't know what that is. A car battery. But <laughs> when you when you crack it open, it kills you. Yeah, pretty much. Persona 5 doesn't have uh, FFT in the title anymore. Yeah, no! Persona 5 was the first game where they removed the Shin Megami Tensei thing. Really? Yeah! Alright. I thought it would be the And that was another one where it was like, Oh, now I'm still there. Yeah. It was like, a bird. Yeah! I was like, yeah! It's a good track. That is so Atlanta. To me, it's still... To me, the, the way that they actually managed to blow my mind once more after all this time was when I played Birth by Sleep. Because it was like, you have very basic, like, things for those worlds now. You have, like, Cinderella, Snow White, uh, Sleeping Beauty. Like, how the fuck do you make a track of the- oh my god, you nailed it again. Yeah. Yeah, how? I mean, you, 
Sleeping Beauty. How? Sleeping Beauty. That's Carol so having a composer. No, that's when it's called having Yoko Shimomura. A composer. An amazing a composer. Fucking composer. Apparently, she did some fucking tracks for the Minecraft level in uh, Smash. And that, and that explains why it was like, why is the Minecraft music so good in Smash? What the fuck is Minecraft? <laughs> why is it legitimately awesome? Also, why is Steve so fun to play? I don't understand. But anyway, we're not here to talk about Smash. Well, we are, because Sora, but... Whatever. Whoa. Well, that I got a little confused. Whoa, whoa, no, I just fucked myself there. I still don't get that really much. Well. Whoa, whoa, okay, no. Oh. The famous thing in the rhythm game where it's like you fuck up once, you're probably tripping oh, for, for quite a few episodes. Yeah, I know. I, uh, I fucking hate it when that happens. That was always something that bothered me when I did the one legged angel. Oh, you're... But yeah. Especially towards the end, like the minute I fuck up one of them, I, oh, yeah, I yeah. fuck up the rest, and it's like so much happens in that in that fucking stage. I'm like, ah, yeah. Uh, and now we're going to the Cave of Wonders, a role I played. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and the, and the thing with me and him, yes, I also voiced the Cave of fucking Wonders. You voiced the Cave of Wonders. Yeah. That was, that was so weird. Yeah, for school play. Yeah, well, I mean, to be fair, you say school play, but I mean, it does bring a little bit of uh, connotation that it's not. Let's be real. I, uh, the the Seijia we went to there for the, in terms of the arts, they were fucking great. Oh my god, yeah. where they and are. And honestly, and yeah, the, and I mean, the musicals were also very, like, yeah, very well produced. Is very big on art. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were, they were definitely trying to bring their all into Hey, the there's the whole new world thing. Because I, I, I still remember, like, the costumes were amazing. Oh, there we go, let's go, let's do shit! <laughs> but Ariel is there, so that's cool. Perfect, um, says, that's how it is in Japan, you don't know. You don't, I don't know why they added SMT brand to games outside of Japan. Like, oh, Digital in Japan, Persona, Persona was always just called Persona. Maybe not the first one, because it was a spin-off, but, I mean, still. Ah, oh, interesting. Which is even more the divorce from SMT than the usual as well. Yeah. Not to mention, SMT is big mostly in Japan more than the West. Well, now it probably it's changed a bit. Marketing I do have to say, though, the field music in Kingdom Hearts 2 for Atlantica, a lot better. And also, insanely calming. Yeah, well, I, I think it, what's not helping is the fact that we didn't do it during the LP. We, we so did it. We totally did it. We just never finished it because literally the PS3 version did not want to load the final song. That's right, that's what it was. We tried it like we did one part of it, but we just didn't fucking bother yeah. to try it again. Uh, we tried to go through it after we can't fucking listen to it. Oh boy. Ooh. There we go. What was really fun though with Atlantico was like the, the big change of like, a face of the game is that <laughs> that's gonna be that is gonna be a weird thing about all about this game where suddenly it's like, alright, I have a point to talk about stop focus. <laughs> As I was saying. Yeah, no, <laughs> like that's that. that's definitely gonna be a problem. <laughs> then that, that's definitely Oh boy. Yeah. I'm done at sleep. Well now we're done with it. Thank God. Oh boy, I Ariel. You're kind of the worst. I can't help but like you. Kind of to be fair, 
I mean, your motivation, it's, I mean, in terms of the motivations, your motivation's a little weird. It's the typical, like, story thing of a, you know, the teenager where it's always like, No, 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 the things, my, fuck you, dad. It's like, yes, it's important sometimes to kind of rebel a bit, but boy, when you grow older, you realize, hold on, that was stupid. Yeah. Yeah. And here's the thing. Yes, your dad was being insanely strict and to beat you up in, uh, in your own world, basically. That's not good. Doing a deal with uh, the known banished evil witch? Uh, I don't think she would have Well, at least in Kingdom Hearts, she does literally mention she's the, she's the witch that your dad ban banished. At least in Kingdom Hearts. That is said, so yeah, it's like, well, well. Also, forgot that she dealt with her in Kingdom Hearts 2. That part? I'll admit, still not fucking sure what this is about. Also, uh, in the original uh, fairy tale, uh, she was not banished, she was just a sea witch. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know. That's. Okay. Now, to be fair, original fairy tales seem to have a lot of, of things of like, hey, women, if you try to break the mold, that's not gonna end well. Okay, hold on. Ooh. What is it? It was actually a lot more simple than I thought. I made it too complicated. Oh, hold on. That's different. Okay, towards the end I got it. Okay. Gotta follow the skill drums. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fine! The Lord is still- The Lord still has decent health! <laughs> oh my god, you're almost dying. Let's go! Who cracked the the moment that? Ooh, I heard someone. That's me. Okay. I love cracking bones. Alright, still doing well in terms of the... Uh, the I hit 100 friend orbs! Woo! What? <laughs> That's a sentence? That's a sentence and a half? What do friend orbs do again? It's just like a bit more points when there's a guest character. Now this one. This is where I learned, I actually, somehow because of when I saw the movie the first time, I did not know it was made by Disney. When I saw that, I was like... Honestly, me too. Like, what? That was this... <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> hey, Incognita. No cage to Atlantica song? Shitty game, man. Uh, did you forget we're in Kingdom Hearts 1 right now? <laughs> <laughs> you forget we're in Kingdom Hearts 1! Be patient! I can promise you. We're getting- we're gonna get there. Alright. At least one. All right. Uh, Jack's, See? Not, Jack's not there. Uh, I actually don't. Please. No, you're not a guest. Nice. Okay. No, they were limited. I think there are clearly a bit of license stuff or something. Because, for example, there's no Pirates of the Caribbean at all in this. So, there might be some stuff. Obviously, Tarzan is not there, but... That's to be expected. So, it's kind of amazing, though, that this means that the deal with Tarzan must have been, like, fully allowed, but only for Kingdom Hearts 1, because the fact that the re-release happened and it's still in there... Like... It must be, like, it must have been licensed, like, but only for use with Kingdom Hearts 1 or something. But yeah, that's one of those worlds. Why does this have to happen every time I try to speak? Where picking a track from the movie makes sense. Because yeah. honestly, if it's a track that captured the fucking atmosphere perfectly. Yeah, I mean this one is just this is what is perfect for the for the atmosphere of the whole level of the It's a Halloween. Yeah. Not to mention it's not the exact version. I mean, I don't think the movie has an instrumental version. No, I think not. Well, that'd be 
makes sense. And there's something inherently fun though in this game about like the sounds of of hitting the enemies on the beat. Yeah, I can see that. There's just something fun about it. That's great. But honestly, it, to, to me, because I, I I remember that when I did it with them, I was so worried about not hitting on the beat that uh, uh, I always uh, turned the volume down for the sound effects. Yeah. Because I, I just wanted to hear the music, and I didn't want to have to keep, to worry about like being on rhythm. Hold on, he could was like, I had to enjoy two of my most PTSD songs in a row. What? The Atlantic ones? Apparently, yeah, I remember she was. T-O-N, PTSD. Yeah, Chain of Memories. Well, yeah. I was going to say Cave of Monsters. Isn't that the thing from Disney, Cave of Monsters? There's the Cave of Wonders, which I voiced. Reminder again. Another reminder that I voiced that. Ah, there we go. This is... And like you can see, there are some moments when you see like the setting like that, where it's like, this is for a specific moment in the game. Yeah. Uh, Alright, alright. All right. Let's this the battle music. The spooks of Halloween Town. Whoa! Oh cool, more item drop rates. Let's go. Can you hear that? Yeah, that background was really cool though. Yeah, with the Oogie's roulette and all that. It's kind of fun that we're actually... Like, we, they are straight up reusing... Like... World assets, and you can see it. And unless I'm crazy, I'm pretty sure that if you're in a, you're playing a song from a different game, it's actually gonna be the background of the version of the world from that game. So, for example, when we're going to Agro and Kingdom Hearts 2, if we go, now I think about it, I'm not sure anymore. But for an example, if we go to Kingdom Hearts 2 Agro. You would see the, the the levels of that version. Right. There is one exception though. Because you have to remember, this is made on Unity and this is also made to look to be run to run on the Switch. And which honestly I feel like sometimes set back a few things, if you ask me. And for example, you will not see Kingdom Hearts 3 Worlds in that method that we're seeing right now. Oh, that's right. All the, all the Kingdom Hearts 3 songs, they're all restricted to... Uh, the Some old... sort of cutscene. Yeah, cut th There's a cutscene type of gameplay. Like what we saw at the very beginning. Yeah. I think that's the cause of making uh, the game portable. Yeah. Yeah. Switch confirm hold that game. Multi platform. Nintendo hired that man. I love also that they, they kind of took the, the elements of the Halloween Town music and kind of incorporated it into the battle music. I yeah. think that's kind of neat. Yeah, that's cool. But it, like, like you, you could already, you could definitely see it where it's like that. That's how your brain kind of actually gets used to that. Is that you realize, no, just follow the music and your brain can kind of read exactly what the fuck is uncommon. Oh uh, man, it just has one, uh, one good. I'm out of practice and we're just doing the songs once I'm fucking fine with that. No, that's fine. I have, I, the, I, get it. I have the game on my PS5 right now that's like, no, my ranks are pretty fucking good. Did not, like, perfect all tracks, obviously. There are a few where, oh boy, that gets, uh... Oh yeah, no, that gets fucking Ooh. hard. Ooh. Hard. Let's just say the finale of Cage 3 is, uh... <laughs> Ah, like the secret boss. Yeah. Okay, oh God, so... Phantom. So now, Neverland is a fun one to talk about. Because, I don't know why. Why did this world have to have a different soundtrack every game? <laughs> I 
mean, honestly, I don't get it. But also, the, uh, now I understand that for this one because Neverland was, admittedly, disappointingly, only Captain Hook's ship. Yeah. The track made sense for that. Yeah. And so that's cool. In 358, now you went to actually the Neverland. So it's like, okay, where's well, a track? That sounds like Neverland. That's cool. Birth by Sleep's like, okay, we're still never. Why is it completely different? Hold on. <laughs> I will say another thing too. One thing that disappoints me with this, and that makes sense, it's supposed to be a game about the memories and all that, so we're going back to the classic versions. Which means, not the HG remixes, yeah. amazing versions of those tracks. Yeah. Which, by the way, makes this track a fucking delight to hear in the remix. Like, oh, uh, okay, I can that you can kind of hear, that's the old PS2 version. But like, in the remix... Oh, man, oh! it's so good. I was like, there's there's a few violinists in the orchestra right now having a fucking blast. I can <laughs> hear it. I can feel how much of a blast they're having. Oh my god, yeah. <sighs> Tell me about it. Alright, Peter Pan. The boy who never got to deal with shit. <laughs> so, I'm, what I mean is that Ed's murdered when he grew older. The thing that Peter Pan's like message did not fully age well, if you ask me. But it's like seeing how a lot of people that did not grow up are fucking assholes. Which, to be fair, Peter Pan is a bit of an asshole. Yeah, I mean, he was raised by the fairy, by a fur face. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, no, that part makes sense. But what I mean is that its message did not age too well. I feel like I'm pretty sure there's another Disney movie that, that did that, and I can't think of it right now because I'm focused on this. But I think a better message, I should focus. It should be that. Never lose your child wonderment? Yes. Right. You can grow. Look at us. I'm nearing 30. Guess what? Does it fucking, fucking feel like it? No. Uh, I don't fucking care. Give me all the fidget games. Give me all the Kingdom Hearts. I don't fucking care. You know what I'm doing? I'm being fucking happy. When my depression tells me I can't be. But apart from that, like, I'm being pretty happy. I mean, honestly, pop off, like, as you should. I mean, it, it's kind of the I same earned thing. it. It's kind of the same thing for me with, uh, when it comes to Pokemon. You know, I've, well, over the years, I've kind yeah. of lost that sense of, uh, of wanting to, like, play all the games and watch the anime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, I still you have... Just sh you just shouldn't do that because that's supporting like, a very bad way of making those games. But whatever. But, <laughs> but, well, I don't anymore. That's fair. But uh, I'm also time, somewhat kidding. I've never stopped loving the game. The, like, the idea, the concept oh, yeah. of having uh, having a creature that, that you grow up with yeah. uh, when you're a child. Yeah, it's fun. Like, you do dog fights with him. Exactly! Yeah. And cruelty. But, yeah, no, I mean... And, and my issue with Pokemon guys. has never been like that aspect of it. In fact, that's why I'm still kind of rooting for it. I just wish that it's an old fucking conversation that everybody has had yeah. at some point. There's no real use talking Although, about it. Although uh, I'm gonna have the 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 next the, the newest game, Red Diamond on Christmas. Oh, cool. I've heard about things. Think about it. That the core is. Oh god, they're, they're so much harder. Cynthia is unbearably tougher. <laughs> Wanna know why? That's how I like my work. They gave her a perfect competitive team. Perfect IVs, perfect EVs. Good natures for each of her Pokemon. Good items for each of her Pokemon. At the time when you don't have the means to get the perfect competitive team. Because that's not behind the Elite Four. Oh, that's right. So this time they actually made them Elite. Yes. yes. 
Absolutely. I can get behind that. But I also remember seeing someone like uh, in the seventh gym, which is a, an ice type gym leader. Uh, you're supposed to like go through a puzzle where you have to slide because yeah. of course it's a sliding puzzle, and you have to destroy snowballs on their way there. Um, but you can pretty much like skip the entire thing, where you just have to go in a straight line, and uh, you're stuck like in diagonal with the gym leader. But if you do it a couple times, like at just the right angle, you can uh, go right next to her and skip the entire gym and just fight the gym leader, who uh, is a, just a schoolgirl in a skirt, a mini skirt. Because of course that's what you expect to see in, in, a, in, a, in an ice type gym leader. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But well, it's because he makes their nipples blizzard. harder. It's for waifu purposes. But but she's a but she's a student, so that's why. They're... This is this is why we're playing Kingdom Hearts, guys. <laughs> we're talking about Pokemon and how basically why the the, the school girl is in the ice thing. It's because her nipples get harder. I just yes, that's this is the true spirit of Kingdom Hearts right here. <laughs> you know what? Just like Peter Pan, we never grew up. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Ah, you know what? I'm glad Olympus finally got some recognition, some representation after so long. It's been a while since we've seen Olympus in the Kingdom Hearts game. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Or to come see him at least. I forgot Hercules was a fucking guest in that thing. That's right. Why wouldn't he? Ha! <laughs> Rick all barrel unboxes. Of course. Of course. <laughs> that actually makes sense. Ah, uh, that's cute. Yeah. Uh... <sighs> I can't believe it took so long for Hercules to be a part of the team. It took until three! I will say. Well, technically, if you want to be. Yeah, two, you could say, two, uh, but like he was an NPC fighting with you, with you. I was gonna say recoded. Hey, that's actually even more fair. Yeah, okay. Because that's the version I yeah. prefer. No, that's actually fair. When you go into a maze with Cloud and, and Hercules. And you actually being play this sort of, old, by the way. And you play in a sort of like JRPG segment. And like that was that was the shit. Like that was my favorite moment of Rico Remember? You know when you say like oh, I joined down memory lane? I remember the time I literally I all I tried for like five minutes to say a fact about the Hercules and Barrels. Oh my god. You mean the LP? Yeah, that's gonna be a weird thing. Where now we're also gonna be re we will possibly be reminiscing about some LP moments we have. Yeah. <laughs> that I might happen. Just, all I wanted to say was die because uh, one of his wives uh, ordered him with a uh, with a shirt that she uh, that she uh, dug in a barrel of water that was covered in. Hey, you managed to say it in two minutes and a half! Yeah. Character progression! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry, but that was too easy. So shady. Uh, it is kind of fascinating because I will say one thing though. And that's going to be weirdly sentimental for what we're, for what we're doing here. But honestly, boy, it has shown that we have grown, though. Like, it's not like I've watched the previous shit we've done, but I still think about it and, boy, we have grown. Yeah, no, for sure. As friends, a as people, as finding our footing in this whole thing. A few of the facts I remember saying in way back are just false. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that might be the best thing I've heard. Okay. Oh my god! Oh no. Oh no. I mean, I still... Like, the, the, the Anna thing, I thought... Because I had in my head about... I think it's... Like the creator of... Uh, of two... Anima, two uh, two uh, animated series that they had. Like Dexter's, Dexter's Laboratory and the other thing. That the two creators were married. I just completely uh, miss uh, because of it as being uh, the two creators of Nickelodeon uh, and have a, uh, 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 something in Barbara, something. They were just two men, they were not married. Oh, 
Oh boy, this is the correction. This is the correction stream. Here we go. <laughs> Uh, that's, that's, that's the one I remembered. And hey, keep remembering when I'm doing the shower. You know You're like, like, oh god, that thing I said a few years ago, that was wrong! Yeah. But now I, when I say it, it's probably going to go out of my head now, hopefully. Oh, well, hope for you, because I, I know that feeling. Yeah. I think it's for something you said that was just wrong. Wrong, that like you didn't know. It's not for something insanely cringe you said at some point in your life. Although that probably is a thing that happens in life. But boy! Those are not the fun things to remember randomly where it's like, oh no, why did I say that? Why? And I have the memory. Yeah, you do, so boy, if you fuck up, you will remember for the rest of your life. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I mean, I still remember my first time uh, with uh, Hearthstone. Oh boy! Uh, the DLP. Man, I remember how awkward I was. I mostly just like. Well, well I didn't really. Well, talk here's the difference. It. Here's the difference. You had you had quite an advantage on this though, because unlike me, when I started, if I was awkward, you were the only one there. Yeah, how the fuck would I know? <laughs> how the fuck would I fucking know? <laughs> I was, I was just right there alone, playing Yakuza 1, thinking I was pretty funny. It's <laughs> like, what? what do you have? Yeah. At least you had someone to help carry you. And then you invited me to play Goof Troop. Yeah. I was like, fuck it, let's go. Why not? That's a two player game that I always enjoyed. Let's do this shit. Yeah, the, the two LPs that change your life. Good yeah. Life. And then we played uh, Mission of Dragoon. That was the one where things we realized. Well, oh, there are some bits that are rough. There are some bits that are a little rough. That's honestly just still the one I think back to a lot where I realized, man, we've grown a lot. Because oh boy, there was some. The, the chemistry was not fully there. Yeah. Three Legend of Dragoons. But that gave us a long time though to actually kind of see it, kind of stretch it to its limit and see, okay, this is, this is where the issues are. But I also so think, like, no, no, uh, no, no shade to you. Um, Sometimes when I, I remember uh, when Elliotus was struggling in some gameplay segments, doing this kind of I game. was a bit of a backseat game. Yeah. Yeah, I did not help him. That was that was also one of the moments where I realized, oh no, I'm that guy. I never had a situation to really see that part of me, but I realized, oh no, I totally am that guy. And, I'm, I, 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 I and Last of Us did not help for you. Did not help for me at all. No. I was like, oh. Use your smartphone. To be fair, it did give some pretty funny stuff though. But <laughs> I mean, I still remember. I I don't know if you remember this bit. I I always quote it because I think it's really fucking hilarious. It's um when we're in the building. I think during the demo bit where um. Uh, I am looking at the base, and I'm like, I need to smash it. And I pick out my 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 uh, my wooden like uh, my wooden rod, and I just smash it in the base. And I don't hear it. And we don't hear anything. I'm like, wait, where'd it go? And we see that the beast is like on the ceiling and <laughs> stuck to the wall. And we're like, what the fuck happened? And then we walk a little bit. And then we hear it at really the cracking. The thing where and Ellie is like... And it was a scripted moment for Ellie. You're like, shit! Sorry, that was my bad. And you're like... Fucking good job, you broke the immersion. <laughs> and I just... I couldn't... Oh, because the piece on the ceiling and the wall was not immersion breaking. <laughs> I mean, I still remember when uh, when Shenpai did her, her bit in The in the Last of Us. Like, she tried to hit it, but she didn't have anything to... Uh, she didn't have a wooden rod or any like physical weapon. All she had was her fist, so she couldn't reach. That means she couldn't, uh, yeah. she couldn't reach the base. So it was like, how do I break it? How do I? <sighs> Damn it! I guess it's unbreakable. And then she turns around, and Ellie breaks it. She's like, accidentally. <sighs> You're a fucking god. <laughs> this, chi mean, this child. This child is just the closest thing to beauty. <laughs> This child is gone. She must be protected at all costs. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, Incognito has a good point. Why does Monstrosa's side look so beautiful here? 
It's the colors. It's the colors. It's the colors. Absolutely. This is where I learned how whales work. <laughs> they have different numbered rooms that sometimes lead into one I will another. Say, I think Monstro is a Disney invention because in the original story, oh, yeah, it's I bet. just a big fish. Yeah, I know, for sure. But I mean, you know, when you have to market everything after a word, after I mean, a word you kind of have to give names. Let's be real. For example, I still don't know if Marshmallow, like in Frozen, was actually named that ever in the movie. And, uh, Probably the credits already, because they already knew by that time, but it's like decades of experience that like you still need to have a name for the toys and all that. It doesn't need to be named in the movie, in the story, but it needs an official name. But yeah, for, so for my personal experience, you know, it was the first time I felt like that has a name. And it's Marshmallow? That's cool. <laughs> Another point, which is something I just thought about. Where Marshmallow a thing at that time? So that's probably an accurate thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably an accurate Oh, this is the focus part. The song is uh, preventing me from talking. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. That's gonna happen a few times. We don't need to hear about it. Okay, so, as I was thinking, I forgot. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just gonna say, like, uh, Incognita was like, oh man, Monstro's inside looks so beautiful here. Monstro is just looking, uh, showing, like, his yeah, true self. Look at the hips, look at the moves, Sora, what was that? <laughs> I mean, we've seen Sora pull some crazy shit. <laughs> Let's be real. Hey. No, no problem, no problem. Alright, we're nearing the end of Kingdom Hearts 1. I thought you missed one. Because you didn't bring all the barrels and buckets. Oh yeah, fine, fuck it. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five out of six ain't too bad. I already have the thing, anyways. I said in uh, on the PS5, so yeah, no, I'll it's, fucking. It's really it. just about doing everything. This is a clean slate for and all that shit. Oh, you get the beast. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. We get the beast. And Hollow Bastion. The Smash stage, you know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I. I can, was... we, can we just talk about the fact that by far, in terms of the fucking content of what the character comes with, Sora might be the absolute most like effort put oh my into God. a character yeah, no, absolutely. of the entire Smash thing. I was it like was... the stage is the... insane. The transition into the dive to the heart. Is, is even more not, insane. Oh my god! There is one. not there is not one color for Sora that is not an actual Jeez. outfit. It's crazy. Oh, I love that it bursts into roses. Rose petals. Of course. By the way, can we talk about this is one thing that Kingdom Hearts does mostly early and later in the franchise. Maybe in the middle a bit less. But those moments where it's like, like, how to not just have a thing where like, oh, we're doing a Disney thing. Something a little bit more original. So for example, it's like, we could have just had Beast join us, but it's like, no. We are stripped of everything. Basically abandoned by the other two. And, and then Beast comes in, it's like, that's the only one who can really fight right now. Yeah. Go through the level. That, was, that, was, uh, that moment was awesome, though. Yeah. At least in, as a concept, like, oh, that's cool. Show oh. how he is. Oh my god. Oh. Again, I made it more complicated than needed. Wait, no. I guess I don't actually get it. We 
but yeah, no, that, the, the entirety of all the Bastion was one hell of a fucking, like, what's that, whoa, 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 what is this? Like, we just came out of, like, Captain Hook's ship, and we still have... Yeah, just everything went to shit once one fell through. Like, that was pretty, pretty intense. I mean, I still remember, like, I, I'm technically I'm still on my Kingdom Hearts 1, trying to go to it. Uh, I think what I need to do right now is, uh, I think I need to go through the, the, uh, the Coliseum, which, I'm not, I'm not good at that. Especially not when it comes to fighting alone. I struggle a lot. Roll! <laughs> That's cool. I get it. Or use your blackouts. Roll on the Hydra's back! Aw, oh. skin of hearts too. Yeah. <laughs> there should be a button where he just says that. <laughs> and that's the other trap in Smash. But there was honestly that weird feeling that you get when you get the fucking Hollow Bash in the first time though when you're like, what the this place is so weird. What is, is this? That? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is this place? Also to see like actually a Disney character being up well, I mean the other apart from the others that uh, the other August ones. That is like so fish out of water here. It's yeah. like, whoa, whoa! Damn beast, you're a beast! Fuck! I also made these great up say, yeah no, he's so fucking determined that Oh, I'm not supposed to uh, exist outside of my uh, world in the darkness? No. Fuck you. Yeah, it's actually more like, how the fuck did you even tra traverse all the way here? It's like, I fucking needed to save Bell. Power of fucking love, motherfuckers. Feel the heat of love! Can stop bulls? Can allow me to go to another world for real power? Whoa. Someone saved it. Also, obviously, a game that is a lot better to play when you're fully focused. Yeah, no, I for sure, absolutely. But well, fuck it. Th this can get a little bit hard if you're, uh, like, half focused. I mean, we can pretty much establish that it's probably not going to happen, so probably uh, talk about the one plan we had to make a CPR film, a Kingdom uh, Hearts PRPGs. Right. I am. Uh, you uh, already uh, built characters, one of them being Beast. Yeah. Now, there, there's a, there was a lot of avenue that could have been open for that. Yeah. But that would have been, that it's, been like, really it's good. It's not nothing to do sub- they won't tell our features stuff that I kind of realized. Like, like, I mean, for example, one way that could have made things a lot easier is like, I don't know if you did it in a podcast form already, it's like, well, we just have the audio to, uh, to... What? That's so weird. Huh. Whatever. All right. I'm not sure how that uh, works. Wait. Also, it was a... Uh, I just realized it might be coming. So here's a boss fight music we have heard a few times, but this scene is reminiscent specifically of fighting Maleficent's first phase. Uh, all it reminds me of is fighting Riku. God. That's not the track. I know, but it's like... <sighs> God, I remember... I don't... I can't... Say like how many times I had to fucking fight. Thank God I was I I'm assuming on the fight base. Yeah, so you can skip the fucking cutscene. Yeah. It's like holy shit. I still remember like I heard his fucking speech so many times when I was younger. Oh my god. Alright, <laughs> for your ears. <laughs> Kids these days don't know how to don't know the fucking speech by heart, because you can fucking skip the fucking cutscene. Also, that's the track where we hear Ursula laugh a lot. 
as she spins. Um, right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's basically. Yeah, no. Uh, Kingdom Hearts was the Earth was almost uh, insulting <laughs> in the way that it played out. Because like it was again, I will have to uh, to specify this because I'm a huge nerd nerd in Canada. That's not the battle, the track for the recent fight at all. Just saying. Oh wait, she was talking about just the uh, general memories of it. Yeah. Even my mom knows. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, oh boy. Not the moment to speak. So, there is one fun thing. That because I'm such a big Kingdom Hearts mark, my parents are able to recognize the Trevor's family too. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't have to say a lot. Yeah. Alright, there's a cut Alright. Damn. Huh. Wait, when it says total, it works on replaying the song as well. Oh, that's right. Oh. So that's... that's yeah, I forgot, replay. yes. Nice. With his heart clouded by darkness, Riku so, stood in Sora's way. You know, to that, that moment, that fucking moment. As they fought, my friends are my power! But, uh, came from his friends, get, not get his ship. Almost skipped the cutscene by accident. When Sora Donald found out that my heart had been inside us. him all along, yeah. he saved me without sparing a thought for what might happen to him. Man. So, as we were. So, now it was my time if it wasn't clear him, already, it's like, yeah, no, that's why like, that we're going through the memories from Kyrie's point. Something incredible happened. Like, Hoping that it's we technically her first game. Again. I gave Sora Sadly, we don't really play as so much. But, yeah. Man, but is, I can't wait for the time that we actually get to play as her. Uh, I am still fucking convinced we fucking will. I'm we sure will. we will, but like... No, like, everything that has been, like, brought up and all that, and even in some interviews, it's like, no, no, they're planning, like, Kyrie's gonna take a main seat. It's I'm, gonna I will, happen. I will say, when you started, I still going to, uh, to say I was going, I, I was waiting for you to say, it won't. <laughs> <laughs> The start sounded like that. But I, I will say though, well, actually, I realized because like no, no, there are some things about the end of this game where it's like no, 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 you're seeing where this is going. Like there's, okay. I just realized I was talking. I just realized, man, that fucking what a great track for like the final world. Oh my god, of, yeah. the, of that game, which is like oh, first of all, call back to the very start. Always oh, nice. And also, it's like, ooh, uh, wow, Such an ominous vibe. this place is fuck. Mm -hmm. This place is so fucked. <laughs> and we're going through. <laughs> Incognito is just like, get off the real country game square and don't make any of them boys safer. Fuck them. Honestly, they yeah. will probably all save each other. To be fair, that, that's such a weird Incognito. I, I wanted, I want that too. Or like, if someone has, but there's all, there's also the envelope, thing of like we. We don't to make a, a, a strong female character. We don't need to have her like be like the kick-ass type Miss Sarah. No, of course. that's not how it is. But I mean, honestly, there's a lot of things that has shown us that like no, Kyrie is a strong female character in her in her own way. Like without yeah. breaking what the character is, she's doing honestly pretty great. She, she just had a bad rep because like let's be real, her first real big involvement. That was she not about. No, that was not about like being safe and all that. Face off, like okay. Imagine. Uh, let's see who's a. Uh... Okay, imagine it in the MCU. First Spider-Man movie. Endgame. Oh yeah. What do you want from me, Mr. Stark? <laughs> what do you want? Yeah, That's yeah. kind of what Kyrie was in that thing. It's yeah. like here's the new here's the new one who has been like still trained a bit like Peter Parker in this first movie. But it's like no no there was still some work and some training and some stuff put in put into of course. Now go deal with the end game. Yeah no that was, 
that would have the been. thing that has dusted many veterans. <laughs> yeah, that one. I. Bruh. But it's. It Kyrie has no chance. It was still a bro for the night. You waited so long for yes, this to happen. Yes, that is. And yeah, no, that, then this happened. Like, fuck. Yeah, ah, you're like, that's fuck, it narratively makes sense, though. But God damn it. Yeah. And, that, and that is why, and that's another thing that I love. Go. They are using that. Yeah. For her thing. Because it's, cause it's like, I finally. I worked so hard. I finally got there. Fuck! <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and they're using that. That's like kind of one of this those. This is what Sora had to deal with. No, mo no, more like, like let's be real. She clearly feels like she fucked it all up for him. I don't think there's any doubt about it. She feels immense guilt over that. Yeah. And oh, that's being your motivation for uh it's just like I just don't want her to be saved all the time when it's not really necessary and that doesn't work to fly to Kyrie. No 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 for for sure. Yeah, for no, sure. That's, that's for sure. We get it. But there's a lot of this is the kind of conversation that made me realize how people don't take the time understandably at some point, don't really take the time to look deeper into how a character would react, why why it makes sense, and how it also made me realize, thanks to actually Songbird Demon, that I ended up realizing that it's like a lot of things where we're like, oh, why did a character do that? God damn it. Why are they like that? That's such. I hate that. Yeah, the actual answer is trauma. Or like deep seated, like, issues. And when you realize that, you're like, well, I feel like an asshole. Yeah. Maybe because I kind of was. Uh, uh, well, For example, are, yeah. Definitely a big example of that. Yes, that was the biggest moment where everyone was like, why didn't she do anything? Like when the wave of uh, shadows came at her. Like, why didn't she do anything? What the fuck was up with that? And already I was like, uh, I mean, that was, this whole thing that she went through was rough. Yeah, and then you see her point of view in, in Be Mine, and you're like, yeah, okay, yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's deep-seated in there. She's gonna take a long time to recover. That would've been rough for anyone. Like, she is gonna have to take so much time to recover from uh, her whole stay in the realm of darkness. So what was I talking about? <laughs> I agree. So yeah, she's a good being. I think her character makes sense and is pretty well written, actually. Just, it just needs to pay off. Which is gonna happen soon. It's gonna happen! I swear to god. In fact, they're really making sure that she will have what she needs to be able to have that pay off. Also, because it it's not necessarily clearly a wuxia because it's an it's an anime an anime an anime a fighting anime is different yeah. than most of the code. It's a shonen. It is the one of the most like fucking emblematic shonen. Yeah, but it's we can do parallels to wuxia or chencha uh, specifically one of the ch Chinese fiction about uh, hey here's one of them flying like, swordsman and things like that in this world. If we look at the morality, those the characters and they, those uh, things are compared to ours, they're psychopaths. Yeah. By the way, this is a boss fight. Okay. Right. Because of the symbol. That was a moment where it's like, oh, that's a fucking finale track. Let's go. This is a boss battle music stage. Let's go over how that works. And by the way, I just want to point out, the demon wave was fine, I just don't take that L against Vanitas. That, I get it. I get it as well. Let's point out another thing. So long, in that fucking realm of darkness, recently freed from being overtaken by darkness. Let's go save Ventus. <laughs> she had 
And that was a thing that was shown a little bit in Birth by Sleep. But not, and that was Aqua's biggest flaw. Like we saw the flaws of all of those three characters in that yeah, game. Sure. Terra, a bit too trusting, unable to actually kind of be able to really see, like take notice of the darkness. Ventus being a child? <laughs> yeah. Aqua was like, she kinda has her shit together, but she lets her newfound position get to her head and shoulder way too much responsibility. So after being weakened for so long, after having to fight, and she fucking fought this whole time, like, dude, let's be, let's not, she absolutely let's not bypass that fucking part of her, she fucking did it. And then, what happens? Like, no, like, I'm doing this for me, this is my fight, I have to be able to show that I am still strong, it's like, that was your mistake. That was your mistake. Especially with how, with all the marks that it left. It's like, you should not have gone alone. Despite that, fucking held her own immensely. My god, did she ever... But it's like, you, so you ended up... And not to mention, and because of that, the reason why also... And, and she did not just get her ass kicked. Like, not at all. In fact, no. she kind of was... She, she kicked ass. She fought. But, because she chose to go alone... Because, you know, probably a little bit of uh, the rest of, like, uh, you know, but I'm the Keyblade Master here, and, like, yeah, I'm sure... And also, I'll show you that I can also be strong. No backup. Uh, nope. So when the when he did a fucking dirty move and said, all right, five Ventus, she had to go take the, sh the hit. Because, like, whoa, 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 no, you're not shooting the kid who's asleep. And that fucked her up. She still had that flaw. So yeah, there's the hit targets, the usual, the slight targets, the... The, the slight target is different. And the ability crystals, yeah. Yeah. It's basically the... the and yeah, you have the connection like that, which can do that. Yeah, you have to like... When they're different, you have to like switch the button you're... Oh my pressing. god, that's right. Oh, that's... That it's one. not that bad, but mm. when it goes... The problem but, is, if you ask me, it's the way that this is designed. The way that the notes flow in. Makes it a lot harder to actually yeah, no, sometimes absolutely. realize what is happening. Absolutely. Let's fucking do this. Let's fucking go! And this is why the final boss of this game, I might switch to standard. That's fair. That's absolutely Which, fair. it's night and day how good I'm doing on standard. I literally forgot the button immediately. Is it just me or is it stuttery? Uh, I don't know, I'm so focused on the notes. That's the reason why I'm noticing it's kind of stuttery. Okay, no, you know what? I can see a little bit. Switch. And there we go. Okay, the game was not very difficult to Okay. Fucking nailed it! Let's go! Yeah! Yeah, sadly, no Billy Zane. <laughs> Wonderful! Save it somehow, but I'll probably take at least one hit or something. This song is pretty peak. Great! I think Goofy got hit. Yeah, Goofy got hit once. God damn it, Goofy! Gorf! I got sex with something. <laughs> Alright, that's done. 
Now, I, I'm pretty sure that when you do that, though, you unlock the regular, like, melody track version of it. Uh, yes, I believe, though. In the track selection mode, so... You can at least enjoy that part. Yeah, there it is. Oh, that's a new boss battle. For, a new field battle. That's yeah, there we go. There we go. Woohoo! We still got a friend! The first boss battle, best boss battle. Yeah. Best boss battle! Look at that. The light emanating from Kingdom Hearts. It's light, bitch! Handsome, the strongest darkness Sora faced. Light, Billy Zane. But the darkness behind the door like, still threatened to Oh, yeah, you've researched that so much, With huh? Riku and Nikki on the inside, and Sora sure on the outside, sneaky. they see which the is, Kingdom Which is explained! <laughs> That's so, so kind of so, weird. Yeah, no, me too! It's like, but to be fair, there was a moment where it's like, okay, well, I mean, this now, I get why he did that the first time, but now that he's a more prominent character, it's like, yeah, okay, I see the disparity. So it's like, you know what, fuck it, let's give a reason. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? All right. All right, fine. Team days! Hey! Woo! Now you can change your team! Yep. Which I think we're gonna sidetrack a little bit to that first. That makes sense to me. There's not that much. Uh, but there are a few fucking bangers. The few that were like like tracks that were very much specific to, to that game. Right. And I mean that is one of them. I just remembered something. Like, you know what's a fun little thing that I appreciate when you go into versus battles. Which is, by the way, like, play the rhythm game against someone online, oh, right. but you can also launch some shit at them to, like, fuck with them. Yeah, no, I remember that. that. You can also play it, like, offline. There's a thing of, like, playing against, like, bots of higher and higher difficulties. And, you know who's actually doing the, the, the bit of voices of, like, hey, you're doing great now, that? It's Charity. Of course it's Charity! I'm like, oh, yeah! Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I remember that the, the, in theater, the, it was pretty much the same thing, but with, um... It was, a, it was a Moogle, because of course. Yeah. You know what? Let's go with them a bit, because that track is actually relevant to that party. That's true. It is relevant. Hi, Mickey. I don't know why you're here. Cause because you're... Quentin Flynn is an abusive shit! Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, um, with, I'm, I'm talking about Mickey. Okay, well, I'm talking about Kingdom Hearts Mickey. You know where Mickey is alright? Disney Mickey is uh, a tool for... Uh, Disgusting capitalism. Kingdom Hearts Mickey is, is, is neat. <laughs> it's neat. It's neat. Look at them being together. So we have uh, Roxas, Axel, and I don't remember. This joke has now run its course so much. I <laughs> think <laughs> I don't know if we'll ever... Also, you will deeply insult Songbird Demon if, if you actually, like, shit on Shion like that. Oh that is the favorite <laughs> character, and I will not fucking stand for this affront. <laughs> I will protect her feelings forever. <laughs> I like how it says, we chain of Ari chain of memories instead of Joji. That's really good as, like, as it should. Which means, yeah, fair enough. Who even... Did, did anyone, like, actually play? I had a friend of mine who I did play. I did not game. understand a single word of what you all just said. Did anyone play? Did you play like the original Chain of Memories? Yes. On the Game Boy? Advanced, yes. Huh. Yeah, I had a friend who had this too. GBA was like, even back in the day, it's the easiest fucking shit to emulate. Oh, you emulated it? Yeah? Y'all are hard That's I had a friend who actually had the. Uh, I also had a friend who had that and I did a bit of that, but after that's how I was like, oh, that exists. Emulate time. I was a kid, I did not have the fucking funds for that. That's a fucking kid. I don't pirate shit anymore at all because I can fucking afford it and I'm gonna support shit monetarily. Unless it's undeserved. And everything I did pirate that I actually enjoyed. I rebought them when I was able to. But that's true. 
That's one thing that I always... Which is an excuse a lot of people give, so it's like, don't actually trust that, but in my case, I actually fucking did it, so. I mean, I all... That, that was always something that I did, too. Like, if I... I mean, I never actually pirated anything, but it's like, if I like something, I would absolutely buy it. And yes, it is. it does say reach in memories, because, I mean, you don't want some 16-bit... Not 16-bit, but, you know, like, the lo-fi fucking music playing there. Yeah. Oh boy, that one. Oh, you forgot about that challenge? No, 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 Man, Chain of Memory, you know what, now that we've finished talking about Kingdom Hearts 1, I, I realized we kind of forgot our whole thing of, like, talking about what the game's meant to us and all that. Boy, Chain of Memories is the hit in this. Yeah. You like it or you don't? Really depends, it's, uh, divisive, probably the most divisive. No, Kingdom Hearts 3 is out there, but the most... Actually, understandably, the Vice of Game. Yeah. Chain of Memories, by far. Absolutely. It's... I do enjoy it a lot. There, I, I can't understand the appeal of the satisfaction of building your deck correctly and unleashing hell and high water and also sometimes tornadoes and all that shit on your enemies. I mean... There is a few games I uh, play on the uh, 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 Steam that are uh, deck building the games that, yeah, but... Like, it's still the kind of thing that, like, you have to... that has to appeal to you. But yeah, for sure. It still had a good enough mix of still so much feeling like Kingdom Hearts. Oh, boy. Of course, it had to be... This my point. Um, yeah, for, for me, I mean, I was always a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! And I still remember when uh, I, I bought a couple of, like, the Game Boy games. But, oh boy, like, some of those Game Boy games were just, like... They did not use the... Uh, no. Yeah, no, they were completely, like, going against the grain. And, like, use different rules of, like, the attributes and elements feel. Like, Man, I even bought a magazine for that game. What, Kingdom Hearts 1 or uh, Chain of Memories? Because I know I had a magazine for Kingdom Hearts. It's like, whoa, that game was... It's like, I don't like, know if I'll it? ever I be think, able to eventually like, get that. Water beats fire, which beats force, Chain of Memories, okay. Which beats ground, which beats electricity... Which beats water? Which beats what? Well, yeah, which piece of water, I believe that's it. Darkness and light Sora defeat each other. Sora continued his journey in uh, search of No, it's of darkness Nikki. beats light, beats found fiend, at Castle or demon, Oblivion. which beats dream, Using cards which beats darkness. The of the worlds they visited. The group and then there's divine, the which castle. is its own category. Meanwhile, yeah, Riku cards. awoke yeah. beneath the castle and was met or some by a of the mysterious cards. voice. And a few, I remember, also With Sora few, headed for the top floor. Like, Oh, yeah. And Riku aiming for the ground floor. Can we talk about the something? The continued to climb, each on their own path. Can we? No, okay, but I don't seriously? Know, yes. Okay, this is... Uh, okay, now, because just see, seeing Jiminy triggered something in me. All right. <laughs> That's how I'm going to open that up. So, uh, there is a thing that I've been talking with some friends, especially, but again, some of I mean, we have these kinds of talks uh, quite a lot. Not lately, I miss her. But anyway... <laughs> <laughs> but there is a thing about Sora and why I feel like what happens to him at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be a massive fucking deal. And this is like such long conversation I'm going to have to try to summarize very quickly. Sora has ne in his entire life never been truly alone. Ever. Not a single fucking moment since he was born, he was linked with Ventus. Which eventually came in, like, in his heart. Even when Ventus was now, was in sick. Afterwards, he was always with someone. 
there was always someone accompanying him. Which is why, like we, a lot of people say like, wow, Sora kind of gave up almost easily when uh, everybody got fucked in Kingdom Hearts 3. It's like, that's the first time he was alone, and yes, Riku was there. But like, he lost everyone else. He broke immediately. And then Riku gave, gave his life for him. And I was like, even when he was stuck like trying to save them all, Fucking Jiminy was with him! Until the end of Kingdom Hearts 3, he was never alone. That's, that's weird. That's fucking weird to think about. Like, let's not, let's never forget that Sora clearly has some depression issues as well. But he's the kind of guy who shows that by hiding that up and even putting every, literally everyone else before him. Relatable content. <laughs> yeah. Hey! That was a cool... Man, Chain of Memories really brought some... You know what? That's also very relevant to this party. Let's go. In fact, two of them were involved in that, with that track against each other, so that works. I mean... Oh, boy. No, but, like... Yeah, no, Sora has... A lot of those characters have a lot of trauma and depression. Yeah, that seems to be a recurring... I mean, look at the group we're playing! <laughs> Like, Roxas is still the walking tragedy of this franchise. Not like Xion is actually faring a lot better. Yeah, so, yeah, no, it's, uh... You know, up there. You know those uh, flying notes? Yeah. They so look like it should be. <laughs> I. You know what? I can see this movie, but. Because that lady only did it after the I love how they actually do have different. Like special attacks and magic and all that. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh boy, hold on. I, I mixed myself up on that you part. Kinda, you kind of lost the rhythm a little bit. Yeah. Actually, started by not having it and I tried to catch up. You're about to die. I did die! Look at that! Oh my holy shit, Woo! he died! Oh yeah, you can eat that's a good point. I will try again. Also imagine everybody, Phil, is telling you that you don't deserve your fucking weapon and only got there due to your friends and damn bam they're gone. That's actually a very good point, a point I actually never thought about. Oh no, that's true. Like yeah. Literally it's like you're just there because you have all your friends with you and he's like yeah! Yeah, my friends are my best! Oh no. My power. Oh no. Like, Sora is that game. like, yes, obviously friends are important in your life. And that, that's also a thing I can relate to a lot. Like, I discovered Sora as my comfort character for a fucking reason. We're actually a lot more alike than I thought. At least my younger self. But, yes, yeah, Sora still has not discovered that, like... Okay. Yeah. That... Having people with you is vital. Yes. You cannot ignore that you yourself, by yourself, has worth. That's what Sora did not understand. He also, uh, he also never became a master, so he just went like, I love the thing in the game, like, Sora? Oh, 
cannot catch a three. Yeah, that's definitely. Which I remember also. Deering is in a different uh, franchise. My hero Kimmy, I can't see. Aha! Uh -huh. Easy cool. You know how he constantly breaks himself in a fight? Yeah. They're like, stop doing that. That's not good for you. Here's a problem. He's never been in a pair of fights. It's true. Oh boy, it's happening again. Constantly has to uh, push himself too far if he wants to win. Constantly. That's true. That was, that was some through the fire and flames. I mean, uh, you know, the yeah, second... guess what? That's one of those trades, at least on the PS5, I actually had an all excellent. The second movie is a, is a <laughs> good example of that. I don't know if you saw it. I so, of the movie, before I was interrupted oh. by the game I was playing, what the fuck was I saying? I don't know. Fuck. Uh, uh, so, Rock right. for character. Yeah, because, oh. and yeah, because he doesn't realize the, that he has worked by himself. Like, obviously, like, basically, me living, like, kind of alone here, like, would not work if I was still, like, Sora was there, you know? But it's like, I would need to always have someone with me, always, as I could cope. Oh, man. But, like, yeah, there, there's a... As Sora advanced there is a bit the of, castle, his he has to learn his self-worth. And that's kind of the problem. New memories of Naminé grew clearer. It quickly and also his tendency to be self-sacrificial. Which is why he did not hesitate. She's like... And I mean, Meanwhile, he probably would have done it anyway, but it's how, within himself, you, as he how he reacts to what he has done at the end of the movie. Lying in wait like, to confront him was a boy who I mean, was just like him. Still, a replica I managed to save her. Created by the organization. Then I'm fine with this. This replica like, was planted with false memories that caused that's him to not, stand in At this point, it's not even heroic. That's unhealthy. It's so Obviously, sacrifice. yes. If you, want, if you care about her so much, you sacrifice yourself for that. I, I get it. It's fine, but the fact you're like, nah, it's okay, it's like, no, no, you cannot see this as okay. It's selfless. That is not okay. Selfless to a fault. If you were down, if you're still ready to do it, all right, but that you're like, no, no, this is very okay. No, 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 it's not. It's not. Now you have to fight. Put your mind into fighting like fucking hell to get back. Yeah. Is that the track? No, but that's the, oh, that's the, that's the first version of Marluxia. Ah, of course. You will never... I think you probably need the, uh, the health potions. Depends. They're actually not in order of difficulty there. But like you can see, like, this, this was a 12... This is a 12 difficulty on proud mode. That was a 15. That was the highest difficulty. Okay. Oh, the highest? Yeah, 15 is the top, like, okay. difficulty level. For I thought it might have been, like, 16 or 17. No, it's, it's not, 15. I would have gone with 13. Yeah, uh, that well. That would have been very funny. Alright, now this one I feel like we need to play with the original party. That's more relevant to them, I feel. But yeah, no, no, this is... Which, you say about the Sora, same can be applied to, uh, to uh, Izuku. Yeah, there's, there's a lot. Of, that is a, pretty, a relatively common trope, but that's still... Because that's a thing that's fucking real. A lot more people go through that than you would think. That's why, even nowadays, I try to look deeper into like the writing and some stuff. And I will say, because that's probably my go-to example to show you guys, especially you guys, how serious I am when I say that. Even stuff like Naruto, I'm like, you know what? No, there are some deeper stuff behind that. Right. It is undeniable. It's like and there is a lot of execution and maybe a bit of the theming that has gone to, to shit. But, like, it's not entirely under the garbage. Like, there is still some stuff behind that. It's like, no, that, that makes sense. That is that is thought out. And maybe sometimes if you don't like that, you don't have to deny that it is thought out. There are some things like that. So, now I tend to... And honestly, let's be real. That is also, in a huge part, thanks to Songbird Demon in our conversation, I realized... Yeah, no, no, you're right about that. There's a lot more stuff to a lot of, right? Like, 
you rarely write stuff without thinking about finer details. Like, we need to give writers a bit more credit than we people usually do. It is more thought, it's not just... When it's something that's like, you just write to, you're writing, you're not even really thinking about that stuff too hard, you'll fucking know. Like a Quantic Dream game. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I don't know why I jumped his death. Oh yeah, that's right. Did you fuck it up for uh, for a uh, thing that like the enemy is not in the rest of the sequence. Oh no, that's right. That makes the sequence feel a little weird. But yeah. So there is that, and that is why, honestly, there's a lot of people who even like it's not. It's the you know, Kino is not that well written. It's like yeah, you're fucking wrong about that. Although probably the biggest strength of this franchise is in terms of theming. Like, totally. The themes of the game and how consistent now they apply to a lot of things. Naminé had the power to overwrite the memories of Sora and those connected to him. The organization the used this power for their own gain. Man, even after discovering the shocking the truth, the entire chair memories, his memories like, of Nami really is what introduced Sora to this franchise. Like, oh shit, can get a lot more complicated than you battle. thought. Yep. You thought there was some weird like Final moment. Fantasy stuff, and I mean it's all weird Final Fantasy stuff, but it's really like, like oh, weirder oh, than that. Like, oh, you know what? Let's actually clarify another thing. First of all, that's like, man, Kino White is so complicated. There's such weird shit going on. This is exactly what Final Fantasy does. Exactly. There is just one key difference. What I will say to you, one that people will never admit. It's still a crossover Disney thing, and I have a feeling that a lot of people will never get over that fact that it's like, well, how can it be such, like, almost a rich narrative? It's a fucking, like, Disney thing. Like, I, Mickey Mouse is in it, and I, it feels like it's validates them. But people will never admit that. And, a second, most important, this is one story. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It does like, everything that Final Fantasy does, but it... One, one long running story. Yeah. Unlike Final Fantasy. Now! Very rarely has Here's to that fucking track I love. This one could, is definitely re Rechain of Memories. Because that was not in the, in the original game. Because they added a whole new face in Rechain of Memories. Oh, that's the thing. Okay. Oh, shit! Go back. Wow. Do you have a. Uh, you can still play when you uh, charge them. Yeah, yeah. I just need to remember where it, that, that one is. Oh, it's been a while since that happened. Oh, yeah. Is that the... I think that's it. Uh, yes. Yeah. That makes more sense there. Uh, let's hope I'm at the right distance, though. Because it's not exactly a long wire. Maybe I'll have to get a bit closer, but I can do that. Okay, so yeah. I feel like mine is a little bit longer. That's quite possible. And by the way, but by the way, the Remind version of that track, fucking fantastic. Now, fun That's thing, right, unlike uh, unlike a lot of tracks in this game, I mean, this one did not have a remix version, so we're hearing it in all its glory. And boy, it was so good that at the Remind the Remind version of that track, I suggested for our final boss fight for uh, the previous DnD campaign we had. Right. And guess what? This version's still fucking godlike. I mean, it's also got an appropriate name. You know, Lord of the Castle. Yeah. Let's see if I can still do well on that one, because, you know, there are some tracks I, I will tend to play a bit more than others, because obviously... Obviously. I will say that the delay about the Wendy Shadow Warrior uh, dies when he gets hit by the lightning. It may be a bit jarring. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, that part I was like, yeah. That was always a little weird. That's only for for the Thunder spell, though. I feel like the others actually work pretty well. But Thundaga always, like, has a bit of a delay on the kill. It's weird. Okay, okay. Don't have to because, because it's, it's so fast. Maybe it's a direct hit compared to the projectile of other magic. And 
That's my part. This track is fucking fantastic. That's so good. So what are they called again? Those, uh, like, those ice uh, type uh, things? Uh, Requiem. Requiem, that's what it was. Oh, I got one good at the end, so no all excellent, but fuck it, yes, it's a full count. Whoa. <laughs> it actually unplugged itself, that was weird. Uh, maybe you can, uh, you can move That's fine. I, I mean, look, I'm gonna have to do... Switch it so many like wire acrobatics at this point. Oh, yeah, that is. That's definitely good. That's oh well. Guess what? It's so good. It's so good. God, that fucking track is amazing. Mm -hmm. I love that track. It was over so fast. Yeah, I know. Castle Oblivion came but there is an advantage to that, if you ask to me, regain his memories, is that when you're trying to go for uh, to forget all about getting a higher rank, he you don't spend too long in an attempt for nothing. But not before leaving himself a reminder. Except for a few tracks. When he woke up. And that's what made me really Meanwhile, not like, like trying to do all that for all of them. Because like there are some class. tracks that are like five minutes long. It's like that's too much. <laughs> I can't. From within a shadow that. magic, that's still... Riku heard Namine. I'm thinking of like some character themes and all that. I actually know it was Sanctuary that game was the first to give me that fucking problem. Oh yeah, no, that's fair. Well, it's like, it's a long song and like, it, it's... Uh... But to me, like, uh, even if it might not be like, that, that long, like, when Winning Angel always felt like Nominate it went on for so much longer than it actually did. Away the darkness and I, I think it's not that it went too long, it's that you could not survive till the end. Yeah, that's mostly it, yeah. Own. Let's go edgy boys, yeah. Riku and Nikki Isn't it amazing that the fucking replicas came back? Continuing along the path. Yeah! That's another thing that people do not give credit for uh, for Kingdom Dawn. Hearts. When they introduce new shit, well it's part it's of the world now. It. It's part of the world now. So yeah, it's it's not like just some random shit is thrown there. I mean yes, but they are they become like so. They become a part of the world. Yeah. <gasps> is that the one? The other Twilight Time town, that would be the one. Part of their world. Yay! That's the, that's the track. How could we not? But here's the thing. Again, like a lot of those tracks, remix version. So much better. Ten times better. Yeah. Because now you actually hear like the the acoustic guitar plucking at the start, and like it's just, it's, 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 it's oh my god. And for me, it's also. Um... Uh, uh, of course. That was the version that I heard. Yeah, uh, I'm putting that there. I mean, it's the other Twilight Town. It's literally Rock's the whole, Twilight Town. That was the version. That was the original. The version that I heard the whole time when I was playing. Uh, uh, hey, look at this. Yeah, because it was not the remix version. Yeah, see, like he's actually uh, Mickey's yeah. in the rocket. Yeah. And we're finding nobody. Uh, no, the, uh, the magic users, the ca the, Sorcerers? Yeah, the, the Grey Casters, do you remember their names? That's our name of the music. Yeah, they all- Oh, you mean for the Heartless? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, they actually ended up having a fuck ton of them. But, yeah, uh... Yeah, they, they had way too many. <laughs> I did read somewhere, but again, it was... Maybe it's mostly in the infancy of the heart, so now it's pretty new because it's so strange. But people said, you know, the heartless should have been the uh, nobody. You think nobody, and the nobody should have been the darkness. Because they're us without hearts. The thing is, the, the logic behind that though, about well, yes. That, that would be the uh, more intuitive way, but the logic behind that is that they got created because they were looking for those things. The Heartless came up because they were looking for hearts to become Heartless. And same thing for the Nobody, so... Like, I get it, and I mean, honestly, both sides are pretty valid. If we're looking at it like in a completely outside point of view, both sides are entirely valid. But well, at least now it's in great. 
So I start out right now. Also, this game does something pretty weird that I enjoy. It's like... This is the most suiting fucking track. Why does this gameplay actually work pretty well with an insanely calm track? Oh no, I just get away from things. Oh no. Fuck. Thank god I'm not playing right now. Oh no. Because the, the battle music right after. <laughs> Right, if I remember correctly, that was one that was actually surprisingly hard. Ah, I struggled so much for that one. I think it was a 15. It was another 15, a 15 or a 14. Hey, look at that, a, a scene from Remind. Hey. By the way, we did not talk at all about those fucking collectibles we keep getting. <laughs> we no, did not talk about no, them at all. Talk, all. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> you know what? Let's show up a little this bit of... Hey! Alright! Oh! I should fucking think- yeah! I think 13 story cast, so, so you actually get bonus shit in there when you play. I forgot about that. I now- I, I have increased XP! And yes. you can now do verse battles! And you get different- we get different, uh... Player song and track selection to our Okay, well... Menu be depending on the teams, I guess? They will have one like for like each parties and all that, so... Lose all your HP during the battle, blah blah blah. You know what? Let's at least show. I don't know, an easy one, fuck it. In combat, you can face against opponents and all that. No! <laughs> that, one, that one was surprisingly immediate. You know what? Fuck it. We're not even gonna have that track in the. Right, it's the piano only version. Yeah. We're not even gonna have that track in the story so we can at least show. Yeah, I mean, fuck it. Oh, I forgot to change my picture. Because also, a thing that was weird is that I changed my profile picture. I was like, nah, I love Charity. Let's put that. And when I heard the voice, I was like, wait, hold on. It's like, no, it's because Charity's the default voice, but. So you see what I mean when it's like you're fighting an opponent? Now, this challenge is on. This channel is on beginner. I don't remember how you you gain like shift the throw. Oh, you just. Oh, I got sent tiny target. That does make things. That would make things a lot harder if it wasn't on beginner. Yeah, thank God for that. That was tiny targets, really? Yeah. Oh, I'm the invisible? I think it disappeared before an enemy came in, actually. I'm pretty sure it actually disappeared before an enemy uh, jumped in. Uh, oh, there's a bar for tricks! Get some piece. Oh, oh, judge and vanishing enemies. False targets and tiny targets. So I think... I think you need to get an excellent or you get nothing. Oh! Ah, that's what it is. I got the guy that's sneaky and. Oh no, you can't see the guy. Alright, okay, so sneaky enemies is that they will disappear until they're close. That's different, yeah. So now you see what that mode is actually. actually is about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it, it gets hectic. And, uh, and then there's and there's charity cheering you on. I'm like, yay! Yay! You got an A plus plus plus. Fuck you yeah, it was a fucking beginner. So you got it. To save your score, you need to unlock this song. Oh, that's actually interesting. And I got a station of awakening. Woo! Okay, now, now to show off what the museum is about, and then we can uh, continue the story. 
Uh, I know exactly what to do. Let's do the boss theme that we did as a boss, but this time let's actually do it uh, on the field. No! <laughs> Uh, got a gun, got a gun, wheel. Fuck it. There we go, let's get everyone in here. Get your ass in here. So yeah, they have boss versions, but they also have, like, field battles version. And the final one gets fucking insane. Like, the final boss... It gets fucking nuts. By the way, the fu I think it was during DLP that that was the first time I noticed that, where it's like, those fucking walls? Are the different uh, worlds? Just no, different worlds that were lost. Uh, like, yeah, I noticed that. I just noticed like the vines from... Uh, yeah. I don't know if we'll see any of them in, in, the, in the actual like, melody of memory game, but... Uh, yeah. Obviously Enchanted Dominion is in there. We literally did that track with Goa. You forgot about that, didn't you? God, I Well, I don't know, because you did, clearly. I think that I think not for this. Like I, what I mean is that when you add the marking on the wall in a specific part of the level, that I, that feels more like actually fractures of some world. Because you have to remember that's kind of how the gummy shit has been like like thrown into uh, into the universe basically. So I think that's kind of a bit of a representation of that, like the same kind of general origin of the gun stuff. That track never got old, like the old track. Yeah, that's the kind of level I'm thinking about. Although I don't think the melody of memory, like visual we're getting, shows them all off. No, it's, uh, it's mostly just. Uh, yeah, this one is mostly like focus on the. Uh, uh, what was it called? Sleeping Beauty. Enchanted Dominion. Enchanted Dominion. That's what it was. You're both correct. Exactly. The best kind of correct, where everyone is. <laughs> so now that we have seen that, now I can finally show off what the fucking museum is. Woo! Yeah, as well. That is phase three and four. What's the name of the last world in one? End of the world. Straight up. End of the world. Right. I mean, that's pretty straightforward. It's yeah. to show that. This kind of shit you amass over time. You can get some cards, you get some more collector levels, which can give you some more bonuses when you're playing and all that. And that is also completely RNG, so I'll be very honest. Um, I still don't have them on the... The other console? Yeah, no, that's a, that's totally fair. I and this is probably what we would have had to do if we picked the uh, the PS5 version, because we'd have to know. Okay, well, when when did those cutscenes come into play? And go look them up. So that's why I was like, I saw the opportunity to uh, do something else and buy it on Switch to prevent all that. Other than deleting my well, backing up my save file and then deleting it from the console. All right, let's see. Now it's 14. That's not the one. That's not the one that I was thinking about. Quite possible, then. Alright, but still. No, I was thinking about, uh, about uh, the, the final boss against Shion, I believe. Oh, so Vector to the Heavens. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that one, that one hurt. The epic, but... Well, I mean, yeah, Shion's music is very sad. <laughs> That's it. Oh, shit. Whoa! Man, that was... You know, that still plays a little bit in the Chain of Memories. 
that was probably the biggest mind fuck to me. It's like, what do you mean there's an original world? Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, we're in the Matrix here. How come that's an original fucking world? You're like, what? Also, the music is so good. What? Yeah. You're like... But our first introduction to it was through Sora as he went into Chain of Memories. And like, what? What is happening? That's completely out of fucking nowhere. It's then followed by Destiny Island, and you're like, yeah, that makes sense, so what the fuck was. Now, okay, so Incognita actually is or rather is the one who completely misunderstood the conversation and then confused you. No, I'm saying that Chain of Memories had worlds that we had seen in Kingdom Hearts 1. That was the entire thing. That was also a very cheap way to actually make a new game with that. But then... Now, look, I'm going to be very honest. I know your name is pronounced Izorot. That does not feel right. I'm sorry. Yeah, me neither. The name does not feel right when you pronounce it that way. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. But that is the truth. But, so, the thing is that Chain of Memories was all about recycling, like, Kingdom Hearts 1 world. Except for Deep Jungle. But, and then, suddenly, you get this new fucking thing, Twilight Town. You're like, what? The fuck is that? Yeah, and I mean, the music is completely new. You never like heard that those tracks before. You're like, what? what? What's that world? The other side of my heart. What does that fucking mean? <laughs> it's a world from the other side of my heart. What? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. This. Yeah. No, rocks this, one, us. this one on proud. Oh boy. That's a 15. So yeah. Oh my god! Without items. Shit. <sighs> I'm fine. You're fine. I'm fine. Hey, you're fine. I can do this. You'll know when it's ah. a track that I can't. <laughs> <laughs> and there's honestly only one in the story mode. Starting to get uh, hungry. Yeah, I mean that's normal. That's why I'm uh, yawning so much. I mean we have we haven't streamed in so long, which means like two weeks. So we have to remember how it is. I mean that's why I need to. Probably a good idea to have a bit of snack. That shit's like apples and all that. That would always be good. Fruit. It's good for your digestion, though. <laughs> Alright, you can see them in the fridge. That seems obvious, but. Well, actually, it's good for the people sitting on the counter. Show up. Oh man, this one, this one, the first time I played it, like, I got intense this moment where all the dancers come in, it's like, oh shit! But I went and know the track. Yeah, And like, I have the advantage of, like, I know all the, the yeah, fucking exactly. the worst tracks. You, you, you remember all the tracks. Like, I, I still had to, like, pull them out of my memory box. Which does not always uh, cooperate with me. See, today, when, like, I got a, a, a album from the Mysterious Store. Which, uh, where you can buy a bunch of, like, CDs and animes and, uh, uh, and video games. Let's go. And I bought, like, the Megalobox anime soundtrack. Uh, I bought a, uh, an orchestra. Let's 
Nico remake version of the Super Nintendo 2 soundtrack. Um, and also, uh, for some reason, I decided to go with Nino 2 Nino 2 because I wanted to use them. So I was like, yeah, sure, why not? I like the, I like the soundtrack from Nino 2 Nino 2. It's, it's, it's good. Um, I, I can't believe I did not fuck that up. And then, uh, I don't remember where I put uh, the, the Super Nintendo 2 uh, soundtrack uh, album. And no, it's a rut! No, uh, no, um, the, this track has actually, actually has been used quite a few times, especially for, actually mostly for our encounters with nobodies throughout the world. Where nobodies would just pop out, it's like, what, what, ha, what, ha? Oh no. But, uh, I will say though, I think the first part of that, I mean, I enjoyed everything about Kingdom Hearts for the moment, Kingdom Hearts 3 from the moment I fucking booted it up. The one moment where I was like, oh, it's in Kingdom of Corona when fucking Marluxia unleashes the Isno bodies, and that track plays with a completely new twist. It's like... Ooh. Oh! Musical Oh! Roxas was supposed to be enjoying his last week of summer vacation. <laughs> yeah, about that. But oh, he kept boy. kept having dreams about Sora. And all sorts of strange... Now we're talking about things that were, like, some characters like that. Him. It was not fair. Roxas ended up at an abandoned... <sighs> They're gone! Our Where dicks are gone! He used to be a member of Organization 13. You lost me there. I'm sorry, what? Sorry, the team I was just remembering the... You know, remember when the, 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 the word is lost? Oh! And every, everybody, everybody, left, everybody! They immediately go to the <laughs> obvious! <laughs> How come I never did? <laughs> <laughs> I somehow never did. So Kingdom Hearts 2 is definitely like one of those parts of the game where it's like there's gonna be a lot of uh, stuff from Kingdom Hearts 2. But, I mean it was also one of the games that introduced a lot of new worlds. Gary, the reason you didn't do that is because you have more class than you know. <laughs> clearly, clearly <laughs> That's not. a good one. <laughs> clearly not. No, yeah, now the actual Twilight Town. Is that the one that fucking- No. No, you did say it was uh, Vector to Evans. Yeah. So that was my one, personally, my one disappointment of like getting there where it's like, oh, 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 that tra the track is like, yeah, uh, the superior field theme, I disagree. I, we will have to agree to disagree there. But that was my one disappointment where it's like, but that, that, that track was so good. But obviously, I mean, that makes sense. Like, that's the real yeah, version, so, that's, so it's that's like it's a different track. The real Twilight Town. So at so least they wouldn't play with that one. And don't get me wrong, it's still great. Yeah. Because it's Kingdom Hearts. All music is great. All of them. Swing this with them. And so... <laughs> but honestly, like, personally, I just really like the tone of... The of Lazy Afternoons. Yeah. Me too. You can struggle all you want. I'll be enjoying every minute of it. <laughs> what problem? What problem? Yeah, send back that. That makes sense. I think I was about to speak when you spoke, so... No, no, I know. No, 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 no. Continue send bagging that. That's the appropriate reaction, please. So, uh... Remember in, uh... Well, since we're playing the idea, uh, we were using the escort. For a long time we used that one. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, but, pandemic. Uh, a lot of the things that I, that I used are now no longer usable because uh, YouTube does it decide that now we don't want your boss to play our, our video for your music. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, that was. Again now, well, we can have a speaker to have the music we want. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's much better. I will say one thing though about this game that is kind of fun, at least for our purposes, that's kind of fun. Like, let's be real, us going through the story mode, it's not gonna be that long. No. Oh! But, I didn't even realize, but, 
if you want to dive in, like, I have, like, more than 50 hours of that fucking game on the PlayStation. That's fair enough. You can have, there's a lot of content there. There's a lot of content. But it can also just as easily actually be gone through really fast. <laughs> that was the first all excellent death, it's cool. Alright. Honestly, pretty decent considering I'm also doing commentary. Alright. Alright, finally getting into Kingdom Hearts 2. I mean, we kind of were already, but... Well, fully getting into Kingdom Hearts 2, but... Uh, is there a slight divergence from uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 for... Yes! Yes! 358! Yep, there it is. Are we doing because we're talking about the Twilight Towns, and then you get to their story, and then you get to when he wakes up. Technically, he should have woken up before that, but it's still thematically appropriate. There we go. Okay, yeah, so I did not do that one yet. Alright. Wait, beast first... what? What do you mean? Oh, you mean uh, beast castle! Okay, when we're done with 358, like, like beast castle. I mean, we have a special... we have a very special musical request. I mean, who are, who are we to I'd be remiss to not... Oh boy. Ah, okay. And that's why the thing with the, the option where the, the track plays itself, and you can just watch, is really useful because the sound design is so good that like... Like, when we're completely silent, you hear exactly what you're supposed to be. Yeah. Don't feel like most things should be the Okay, the cure notes. I mean, they, you know, they're green. Yeah, that's what I. That's exactly know? what I thought you were gonna say. You wouldn't need green, to. So like. If Donald would do his fuck. I mean, there. listen, if Donald could heal through the power of music, I could... Nah, you're insane, he can't. He doesn't, have to, he doesn't have to sing, he just has to play music. I said that once in a time in the... Uh, the one time in one of the shorts when he uh, lost memory and got this deep ass voice. Oh, wait, no, when he removed his... Uh... No, wait, was it when you removed this anchor or am I thinking of another thing that Donald did? No, no, no. The one I'm thinking of is a... Um, is that a duck? Is the new duck tail? It's one of the new duck tails, no, like, it's where... No, it's, it's, it's an older... Uh, short. Okay. Yeah. I figured that's what it was, but, like, I... The one I'm thinking of is the one in the new duck tails where, like... Isn't he voiced by Donald Glover or something? Don Cheadle. Was it Don Cheadle? Or... Don I'm pretty sure it was another Donald. That's what I'm th I think I'm that thinking. That might be Donald Glover, Donald you know what? That, 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 could, that could be a thing. Okay. It was like, okay. Alright, well, that's happening, I guess. Yeah, that, I mean, that was, yeah, that was uh... Oh, that was a thing for no items. Oh, well. That works. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Nothing. Sora finally awoke. After and hours of gameplay with Roxas, journey. said, Boy, nobody wanted to end it. They were all from Mickey, Roxas. He set boy. off to continue his journey once more. It's fucking crazy how that changed completely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Heavy yeah. Oh my god, yeah, Roxas, dude. No, please. I give the world for you. At the tower, Yen I mean, Sid warned him about organization. He literally was a nobody when he started out. Mickey had set out to learn more about the organization. Sora, Donald, and Goofy searched for again, visiting different worlds. Yeah, no, that 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 one, that one kind of hurt. You 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 started with the saddest game in the franchise. Yeah, I really fucking still, did. That's I can't. still amazing to me. But at least immediately you realize, oh wow. Kingdom Hearts can really hit you. Right? Yeah, it's like, oh man, I, I missed a lot of context, but also like... Oh fun. man, it's that Disney thing, that's cool. Oh. Yeah, there it is. Why, Isaro? 
Azeroth. It's Azeroth. It's Azeroth. It's Azeroth. It's Azeroth. All right. All right. Time for some more. Uh, wait. What? I'm me doing, like, I might be tripping here, but can you do Bella's character a lot of Bell. <laughs> Be Bella? Are you sure it's... Um, we're, we don't have a Twilight world in there. It's literally called Twilight Town! I was about to say that. Fair enough. But yeah, no. Man, Bella. if only Bella was in there. That would have been very funny. It's only... <laughs> who? What? <laughs> Bella. No. The fake character from Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You know, I will say, Mark, we're reminiscing about a lot more stuff than just Kingdom Hearts, aren't we? But I, 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 I do, like, I have noticed, because I, I, I go a lot on Pinterest, and uh, recently, like, there's been a, a, a lot of posts, uh, a lot of Tumblr posts that have been showing up on Pinterest about the Twilight Renaissance. Uh, I don't know about that. I was about, you know, I was about to, uh, to give a more positive note. You really don't have to bring up something that will make me go back to negative. But uh, <laughs> I would say, honestly, why am I big on her name? That is really not good for my point. Uh, Kristen Stewart. Yeah. One of those people where now growing up realized, why was I that mean to her? For no reason. Yeah, for no fucking. Because she was in a, it, because she was a part of a romance movie for girls. No, I mean, also no, no, let, she... let's be 100% because you're thinking too deep for that. It's because she was a woman. Let's be I real. mean, that's not... I don't know if that's entirely fair, because Robert Pattinson was just as hated back then, too. Yeah, but he just had to say... Uh, he just had to say, I really did not like the Twilight movies. And then immediately said, oh, okay, all is forgiven. Yeah, nobody hates Twilight more than the, the people... Did the Twilight awesome. cast? Yeah. <laughs> And then the, the people, the second people who hate Twilight the most are the fans. But, anyway, all that to say, Kristen Stewart definitely, I missed something at the end. Honestly, definitely one thing that, like, it's one of, the, one of those people who are like, wow, why was I so mean to her? Like, another thing that now has kind of been solved, like, Britney Spears as well, why were we so... You know, when we could not think see past our own noses, it's we realized, wow, we were really part of the of the problem, weren't we? Yeah. And like Britney Spears is one of my favorite example of that now, because it's like, oh hey, sanctuary, thanks, more copyrights, right? Um, uh, because like, especially now that you see all the shit that was happening to her, yeah, all the shit. Like, oh my god, that is evil. What the fuck? So, now, that's what I mean, that there's a lot of, like, even people like Miley Cyrus, now that I think back on that, I'm like, why was I like that? To them. It's not, that is not fair, what the fuck was wrong with me? So I, I kind of tend to give a lot more credit to a lot more people now, you know, and I think that's pretty cool. That's it, that was basically where I was going. I mean, yeah, that's, 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 uh... I mean, a guy, uh, who was lost his name was Adolfo. I mean, a... A... Do... Tip? Adolfo. What? Well, I used it for, I, uh, I, uh, was born on occasion. Had a similar thing. I like... Like, did I just dislike Twilight because it was for girls? And then he decided to read the end of the, the novels. Now he hates them for the right reason. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> no, there is that. Like, let's be real, like... I also did hate Twilight because, like, ah, oh, it's a weird romance thing for girls. And then I learned more stuff that kind of reinforced that. I was like, oh, it's also fucking terrible and stupid. And now I realize, nah, there's... You know what? Romance stuff is fine. It's still awful and stupid, but... Yeah, no, for sure. Not gonna shit on romance stuff. I'm gonna shit on it because it's fucking dumb. <laughs> I hate Twilight because it's uh, romance stuff. Let's hate it because it's a bad romance stuff. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. 
you have a trophy for hitting the same opponent 19 times. This is the song for it. Just saying for people who might be interested in that. Literally the only song, only difficulty, where you can do that. Huh. Boy, it's, it, this must be kind of weird where it's like, you can feel exactly where my brain is just like... <laughs> Focus mode. <laughs> Stop talking. And then it resumes. There is the there is the world like like activating specifically in a part of my brain for a moment, and then time resumes. <laughs> Neurons activated. Yeah. Uh, for a different reason this time. There we go. Well, there. The, 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 yes, yeah, so obviously some trophies are also the defeats that you can achieve. So obviously, but yeah, that's the only place where you can do that. Pro tip. Is this game where we think this music you're hearing is also a track you can play? No. Uh. I mean, that one would be slightly hard. I mean, if you're a big nerd like me, you end up realizing you're, you can kind of spot on. It's like, oh, there are some... Not all music is there. There are definitely some missing songs. Like, how come that's not in there? It's a good one. It's like, that is up other than, like, for example, Pirates of the Caribbean stuff. It's like, I can maybe get it, because... Yeah, copyright. Yeah, there's a lot of things about that, but... Uh, what do I want to do? Wait, what? What is that? What? What's the matter? What's the matter, can you do? Oh, yeah! The track we're about to do, we're about to do the track of Ruler of the Sky! Yeah. The most infamous Kingdom Hearts boss! <laughs> By far! Can you feel the fucking love up in here? I don't remember why. Because it's long and boring, that's what it's it. That's that problem. is kind of the problem with uh, with uh, the, the basically the, the boss fights in uh, in uh, yeah, 358. Yeah. Like, it's a lot of like you get the pattern and then you just get in at the right moment and uh, that's pretty much it. It can become... Remember I stopped playing after during the uh, Halloween Town boss, because I couldn't do it, right. I was like, ah, I'll do it uh, another time. Mm. I never picked up the game again. That's complete. Let, let me tell you, that's completely valid. As someone who fucking despised this this one and had to do it like at least six times before I finally got it, I was so pissed on that one, honestly. Fuck it. Is there a, uh, <clears throat> sorry. Is there a, a, a trophy for using all items in one song? I don't think so, but... Uh, it's so uh, good question, so. But fuck it, you know what I realized? I'm not even gonna- I don't really care in this version about unlocking all the tracks and all that. Fuck it! But there we go. That's the ruler of the sky fucking fight. There, fuck it. I would've called it Cover Your Bases. <laughs> As a uh, trophy. Uh, oh, oh. Also, I like that they have uh, randomized uh, expressions. I know. Yeah, that's always it's fun. By the way, the art of you guys that uh, for the little uh, Melted Memory Chibi version, we all have different. We all have different expressions. Yeah. Expressions that I feel were appropriate when I. Uh, oh my God! I'm an idiot. I should say who the fuck did that. Oh my god! I just treaded the really fucking really artist! Really oh my god! Oh god, we're gonna have the same thing? I'm like, oh shit, you forgot to say the Like in, uh... I mean, it's definitely gonna be the description, thank fucking god, but, like, still, yeah. You're not pulling a Kingdom Hearts me again. Or maybe you can uh, have a, uh, little thing pop up. Uh, pop up I mean, I would have to do that kind of now on stream, so that's a bit of a problem. Also, is this focus? When you put it on the... Uh, that would have... That would imply, like, editing and rendering an entire stream archive. 
Which is not impossible, but like, boy, that's a lot. Of, uh, yeah, no, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of work. You know what? I'll just have to make one or two percent because I'm pretty sure that's one of those artists where I keep fucking up her name. So I'm gonna just look her up real quick, and then I'll probably proceed to fucking mention her after every fucking song. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. Right now. Oh boy. Whoa, boy. Whoa, 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 whoa! Holy shit! That was awesome, though. Let me go back to... Let me go back on the Twitter. God, it's not even a good boss battle. A uh, good boss team. I mean, they are better, but... Uh... Yeah, I'm, no, but it's it's like, in comparison to the other boss teams that we've had over the years, like, this one it severely fails in comparison to the other one. Shit, okay, hold on. Just, uh... Oh, fuck. Oh. I don't know where is she. Oh, you know well, we only got one star on this one. Oh no, where is she? Shit, I'm gonna have to look at my emails. Oh no. Oh no. There it is! Oh no. Yep, that's the one. Ah! Fuck me. Hold on. I'm looking at. God, I'm pretty I sure I had to save that somewhere. I hope I didn't delete it by accident. I can't even remember how many times I had to redo this fucking like, stage. It was so fucking hard! I think it's a 15. Oh, thank god I yeah, actually there it is. It's a okay. 15. Let me just... So yeah, no, that that definitely did not help. I'll leave you to it. Ah! Thank god, I got it. Hail Yon! I'll, you know what? I will send you guys on Discord in private. The, or actually in our group. I will send it to you, and if you guys want to sh copy the link and share it uh, to our Twitter for uh, share it the chat. I don't do this for So yeah. Um, it's on our... Uh, it's on our Discord server. Yeah. So, yeah. Haley on. She's also the one, by the way. She has a cool art style, but she also is a fucking boss at emulating some Kingdom Hearts art style. Because I will fucking show you, if I still have it somewhere, I'd like to believe so. That'd be weird if I didn't. But not impossible. I mean, show I believe her, you can. Show power she needs, Well. Uh, I mean, we will see when, when, when the time comes, that's for sure, but... If the time comes... It will come eventually. Be, you should be able to show, like, your, your screen. No, no, I feel like... I mean, that's never a good idea, just in case. There we go! That's right! She's the one who did that for my Twitter. Yes! The thing I used it, I saw she was doing that, and she nailed the art style, and I just went, you know what, fuck it. No, I want one. So I've been, I've been using that for so fucking long on Twitter. Sadly only the head, because, I mean, that's all that Twitter allows me. But yes, and she was even cool enough to have a fucking curious snuggly on my arm. <laughs> <laughs> I've been using that for so long. I know. Which, and I, I mean, and I fair still enough. Alright, hold on, I just realized this now needs to... You have to delete it. Or, yeah. That um, was too. I'll probably delete it later. But okay, alright, there we go. This is the sadness time! Oh no... Can you feel the sadness? I can. Then... In the chat, here's the artist. Thank you, the artist. Good. I think the, the thing that fucks me up is just like, there's so many uh, tempo changes yeah. within the song itself that it's like, 
it's hard. It's hard for my brain to keep up with uh, with the. It makes it harder if you ask me to get it all excellent. happens when uh, you're focused. <laughs> <laughs> Easiest fall off my life. Okay. Yeah, no, for sure. So yeah, like when she said that uh, when she had a thing when Alien said she had a thing, uh, like she was emulating like the, the Union Cross style, it's like oh well I I, I, I got it. You got I it. I obviously made a pretty good facsimile in the game itself, which we're gonna use for when we watch the cutscene and all that. Yay. But I needed to have like that. I was like, course. come on. I mean, and I then when Melody Memory came out and then she showed that, I was like, girl, what the fuck? Did you put Yes. <laughs> Just like, well shit, that that's what we're using. So I had that for like over a year. Cause as soon as I saw that, I was like, no no, I'm using that now, now, now. This is now is the moment. Eventually we'll do that game, but now. This needs to happen now. And I'm finally using it. Seven days after, Roxas was given a name and a place in organization. I should probably have told her, actually. The I am not Roxas. Shion, and the gears of fate began to Roxas. turn. Roxas! Roxas. The organization Roxas. was made up of nobodies. It's because of the, the without the hearts. Kingdom hearts. And their goal Video. was to complete yeah. Kingdom Hearts yeah. in order to become the robot again. voice. Yeah. They yeah. say Roxas. To achieve this, the just a pancake video. that Roxas held was an indispensable tool. Yeah. As the days passed, Roxas completed his missions. Along the way, he became closer friends with Axel and Shion. Which went super the well. The organization had another goal as well. The creation <laughs> of replicas. They had copied Sora's scattered memories and powers from Castle Oblivion. Yeah, that was also brought back in this replica, fucking game. Resulting in Shion. Riku found out that this is what was keeping Sora from waking up. And that's the other thing, where it's like... And Shion okay, was well, to learn that she was nothing more than a puppet. Axel did what he thought girl, was best Girl, you're gonna have to give up your entire identity so I can save my best friends that, that, I, was, that I am actually down to do anything to save. And to find out who he truly was. There was a did lot she, of conflict from, between a lot Shion of good people. Shion was determined yeah. to return her memories to did Sora, she to so she him? paid a visit ah, to Ah, details. As she neared completion, I was not exactly myself. I was shy. I don't know. To be destroyed. Hormones. And she wanted Roxas to be the one to do it. Trusting yeah, Roxas to hurt. set free the hearts they collected. One of the most emblematic lines of this franchise. The place she belonged. Inside Sora. Who else will I have ice cream with? Because anybody outside is like, the fuck is that line? And for everybody inside, <laughs> yeah, no, I remember. That I, is the most Kingdom Hearts shit ever. I remember, I think we talked about that during the... the, the during the... the during the, 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 the LP. Watch. Yes. It's like, it's, it's, um... It's kind of like the, uh... Fuck, what did I compare it to? Uh, the, the Fate Stay Night, uh, quote. People die when they're yeah, killed. People die when they're killed, or just because you're, you're right doesn't mean you're correct. Th that was the line, because people die when they're killed, it's like... That's still kind of dumb. Like, not because... Oh, wasn't it thought because you're correct it means you're right? Right, doesn't, doesn't mean... Just because you're correct doesn't mean you're right. Yeah, because that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, just because... See, just because that line, correct. that line you can easily see, like, yeah. okay, I'm sure that's actually... Because that is... That's actually, in general, pretty true. Also, maybe the time when they are killed is mentioning things about, like... The thing, like, I think I think the meaning behind is supposed to be, like... Like, 
you kill someone, you end the life. Like there's, there's no turning back from that. And it's just, I have a feeling this is. Yeah, I think also, that, that I was think the basic because thing of just a bit. the fact that. Like, oh my god! Thank you, Incognito, for bringing back an actual fucking thing. The KH2 website theme. Yes. I don't remember that one. You did not check the KH2 website back in the day, yeah. so you would not fucking know. That's the theme. That's what was fucking played. Wow. Really? Yes. Thank you for that, and coming to holy shit. So, what I was saying is because it's basically now you have a thing about like, you yeah, know, the, the soul fight you have, that's not actually her, that's a copy that you made with magic. So, who cares if she dies? And he's like, no. She's still a person. Bitch. In fact, the thing that kind of comes back in Kingdom Hearts as well. See, we're still on track. <laughs> <laughs> that is also the track that plays in uh, in the secret ending of Kingdom Hearts One. Huh. Unless I forget, there's another version, but I think that's the one. Man, Janita, you really brought something with the fucking call back. Yeah, the website, like... Damn. And yeah. she's completely right. As soon as I saw the word fucking, like... As soon as I saw the word website, I was like, immediately it all came back. <laughs> like, oh yeah. Swarming back. That was also the first time I realized, oh wait, this game comes out in Japan much sooner. Let's go. That's true, yeah. Because I was like, oh shit. That's coming out in like... Like in November? That's fucking awesome! No! The Japanese version does. End of March for North America. So that was my first confusing thing of like, oh wait, regional releases. King of Hearts 2 was the game that taught me that. I'm very old, of course I had to. Yeah, I mean, we're. we're <laughs> As I said, it's not about never growing up. It's about growing old. You were fucking wrong, Peter Pan. Just because you grow, just because you grow older doesn't mean you do. Uh... Doesn't mean you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that applies just too. Because, just just because, because you, just because you grow older doesn't mean you're right. I was right to say that's, that's not because you grow older that you uh, that you grew up. Oh, okay. oh. That's, that's also true. very true. That's true. That is actually very true. We are so wise today. What is this? <laughs> for the organization's yeah, that's wisdom. Riku blocked his path. Let's stroke our back. Fuck yeah. Like old people. Upon learning that Roxas was Sora's nobody, nah, Riku unleashed it is all his powers of darkness to defeat him, paying no mind. Another aspect. Although of... sometimes yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Roxas I mean, obviously, but that, that's Ready like for everyone. Everyone is wrong. Some summer time. vacation. Yeah. Like, I remember. The first time that, like, actually, it's hard to say because I mean, so when kids started really like doing the the Fortnite dances, like the floss and all that, how a lot of people immediately was like, "Oh God, really? That's a new thing?" And I was like, "Fuck up! Oh, they're, having, on, on. they're having fun." We're starting with these guys. But twist. But we should st before going into other worlds. We, we had a special yes request. Yes, but that's the. I mean, it's choosing between those. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> ah! so Yay! Saying, I love this one so much. Well, hold on. What, what are you saying? Let's not fuck up the request. Okay, hold on. You can go to the tower first. Thank you. Aww. All right. That's the so only you, one anyway. That's the only track. So you were saying about the Fortnite dance? I actually said my point where it's like like a lot of people were like, oh my god, what the fuck are the kids doing? Really? Ah, oh, that's so stupid. It's like fuck up, they're having fun. Yeah. Also, I'm sorry, but to the fact that because of Fortnite they were okay, no, that's weird to say. That's but but it's like I see, you see the dance move and I look at me and I'm like I would struggle doing that. Kids are fucking doing it, holy shit. Yeah. Damn. And also, what like people could say the same about the twist. Yeah. Like, that was a huge dance back in the 50s. And technically, later in the, like, the late 50s, early 60s, when the parents brought it back, 
and the teenagers were now like embarrassed to see their parent bringing back an old like because they were dead. Having, their parents having fun. Yeah, exactly. By the way, that's one of the reasons why uh, the twist, the song, the twist is uh, the uh, biggest song of all time because it was a huge hit back when it first came out when teenagers like were were dancing in the in dance on the dance floor, and then Those years later became adults. Yeah, the adults brought it back because it was the same kids. I don't know if it was the same kids or like. If it was I mean, if like the adults kids. brought it back later, it pretty much is the because it's kind of the same kids, the same generation when it first started. I think it was just like a, a few, a few. Uh, hold on, let me just get the story right. Say bullshit. I mean, you probably will anyway because that's kind of the nature of being on the internet. You can't help but talk bullshit from time to time. Especially if you're an old, an old ginger man. Then it's your fucking job, apparently, to say complete bullshit. I don't know what you think. I'm fucking looking at you, Pat! Fortnite dance equals. Naruto Fortnite dance n equals Naruto Run. Change my mind. You know what? It took me a second to really understand where, where you were going with that. Okay! Now, I. You, oh, hey, oh, excellent! See, nice. talking about Fortnite, really, that's the best, that's where my channel went wrong, alright? <laughs> now I get it. But yeah, no, so, no, that's true. Naruto, oh man. Okay. And now we have a special request for the lovely young lady out there. His name I will not share unless she wants to, so uh, we'll remain anonymous for the moment, but it's incognito, so, because that's not her real name, but anyway, let's go! Now, you did not specify exactly which track, so I mean, I'm doing them both anyway, obviously, but you did not specify which one, so... Well, she seemed happy regardless, so let's fucking Ah, uh, okay, that's what it was. So, there is a cover version in 1960 that reached to number one on the Billboard Hot 100 on September 6th, 19, 1960, where it stayed for one week. And then, in 1988, Twist again became popular with the new recording of the song by the Bad Boys featuring Chucky Checker, the original of the, the version of that cover that became really popular. Ah, uh, the set of armor that blocked the path. Despite. Oh my god. Sora being so fucking skinny and now that he can just. Pause stream while it's live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can only assume that at this point you, you don't mind about like not interacting at the right moment with the chat at the same time as that. So I can understand that, but it's still a little weird. There we go. There we go, Dance of the Daring. Yeah. It was it was nice though that I 
that when when we finally got the Kingdom Hearts 2, like to see all those technology brand new world. My mortal nemesis. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. You're Brazilian, it's fine. Don't worry, she's okay with that kind of ribbing. Don't Brazilian also have like uh, uh, an electrical water meter for your showers? It's really close to the shower end. I think I've heard about that. Like, this looks very dangerous. But I think it's in Brazil specifically. I'd say it's probably I would I was about to say Australia, but it's like that like the country itself is already dangerous. I don't think Australians would actually create more dangerous things to kill them. <laughs> no, that's fair. Uh, you say that. <laughs> Benjamin. <laughs> Uh, I, again, I don't know if it's in Brazil, but I've heard there was one country who had something electrical in their shower head that is supposed to heat the water, and the wires are very close to the shower because of that. Or again, you guys hear me because I don't speak loud enough. And you guys are good. Boy, that was asking Woo! some speed from me. myself and my perfectionist streak like I always get really pissed when I when I get below like uh, 9 million I know right like specifically it's like I don't know when you didn't even reach the final like first digit it's like oh come on ah. I know I can actually I can actually Just understand that okay. all right now that, there's the, the yeah. It really depends on the household's condition. Okay, so that means that probably because that did sound pretty ghetto. So that might be actually linked to that sort of uh, thing. Okay, yeah. Well, I mean, desire for all that is lost. We have the boss fight playing in our head right now. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I and I was so obsessed with finishing it with the fucking reaction command. <laughs> like spin around the fucking thing, the, the, the fucking oh, filler. Nature. And I remember when you wanted to do that. And then I blew this video. <laughs> Man. You know what was really awesome though? And we did not get to talk about it when uh, it was more relevant. What? The fucking Kurt is a boss fight in DLP. Oh my god, yeah, no, that was fucking good. First try, that was, that got close. Uh, it did. Got it real close, but damn did you make it work. That could not have ended better. Uh. Oh. The, the end, normal target with uh, a special ability sometimes still fucks me up a little bit. By the way, there's a trick that might help you, by the way, in the ring of one way angel. Stuff like that. It's a thing that the game does not tell you. And I'm not gonna be able to unless my friend allows me. Alright. Um, even if there's one target, you can press multiple buttons. Right. Trust me, the moment where I'm like, okay, they're switching between the amount of targets a bit too much, I go, fuck it. Multiple buttons at the same time. Okay, yeah. Cover my bases. That, that, that is, uh... The risk you do run is that, well, your pressing timing is not going to be perfect. 
Yeah, that's unfortunate, but... Inevitable! And something that can be practiced. But, well, apart from oh, that... I want to be good now! You guys repeat yourself a lot so I can hear less than usual. Oh, yeah. Let me guess. Your ears are clogged because of all the, the mucus in your nose and all that. Yeah. Mm. That song is so sexy. There's just no other definition to it. <laughs> I Oh, yeah, okay. I, mean, I, I can, I can go that. with that. There's a lot of things I find sexy that a lot of people would say that I would be crazy for finding sexy, but that's an urban conversation. <laughs> I'm gonna say that the TV remote type. Alright. Dude, <laughs> all songs in 30 worlds! Now, if I remember correctly, this is for one specific thing. Yeah. And of course, specifically Final Mix. Yay! Because they had the typical Halloween Town music in Christmas Town in the original, which always was weird. That did not feel... okay. <laughs> A lot of enemies! uncensored version. The fuck? The shit? The shit? What the fuck is that? Fair enough. What the fuck was it? Um... Yeah, don't give up. Oh, damn it! I, I only remember one thing. It's like, there's white shit everywhere. Yeah, it must be fucking fake. The fucking... The fucking... I just remember it because I remember, I remember someone did a uh, when they uh, did a subscription. See you when I think growing up is overrated. <laughs> when they did a subscription for Shopify, they they use that as the as the, their their text for, for telling you you know when, when you uh, when you subscribe to someone you can uh, give a little bit of a, a text to speech uh, text like and they they say it out loud. <laughs> I remember, uh, so like hearing it in the text to speech makes it even funnier. I remember a uh, a uh, again a streamer who was streaming uh, Darkest Dungeon who managed to get the guy who does the, the voice, you know, the deep voice in Darkest Dungeon. Yeah, the narrator. The narrator to say a bunch of lines for his subscribers. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's called Cameo. I could have David Hayter say some shit for their stream if I wanted. I mean, like, yes, welcome to the subscription. Yeah. But he managed to commission the narrator to do the voice. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, the fuck? The fuck? The fuck is in the air? The fuck? There's my shit everywhere. <laughs> the fuck? I must be fucking bacon. This shit's probably fake. The fucking hell did I just think the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> hey, all excellent again. Woo! Hey. Merry Christmas! <laughs> well, hey, how about Brad? Sure is. <laughs> we can stop the LP right now. There, right, I got everything going. Probably should. Yeah, maybe because uh, I have like 20 minutes left. Nah, we're still good. Actually, I don't know if you noticed. Those songs are short. We can do this. Sorry. We can do this! Uh, again, uh, next Saturday, the reason why I uh, weekend uh, D&D is because I have a supper for uh, right. Christmas. Yeah. I mean, it's well, not they do! Yeah, yeah. And this Saturday after that, it's Christmas Eve. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, don't think you 
Uh, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Christmas no, no. Special. I'm pretty sure the Saturday after that is Christmas. Because I had to look into that because I'm doing my work vacations. Yeah, it's Christmas. It's Christmas. Yeah. That's why for sure it's like, well, we're not going to be doing the end there. It's like yeah. it's going to be fucking Christmas. Maybe, maybe in the, the 26th we can do something. But you know, like Christmas, like no, no, that's not gonna. Happen. The only problem, though, and that I kind of get it. Maybe that's why the, the, those tracks were not in the original. There's not a lot of of room in uh, Christmas Town. But it still did not feel right to have the Halloween Town music during that. Okay, well now you're just dealing in my fridge, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> sure. When I said I was doing groceries today, I did not mean <laughs> for that. <laughs> Like, what the fuck is happening? No, it's like, the fuck, the fuck, the fuck is in air, the fuck, there's white shit everywhere, the fuck, I must be fucking So fake. Metatron was singing. The fucking hell yeah. did I just say? And then there's a long pause. The fuck. <laughs> so Metatron was singing. Metatron. Metatron. Metatron is the actual thing. The angel. Yeah. Metatron. Hey, your carrot's so small. My carrot's bigger than yours. Now, good for you. Hey, that track we heard in a few places. I remember, I believe the first time we heard that was fighting against Pete in the, the fucking underworld. Um. Is it that late? I felt like it was earlier than that. Alright, it was earlier. But I mean, but the specific thing they're using it here is clearly like fucking dealing with uh... Wait, were we fighting against the kids at the... Rock Shot and Barrel? Yeah, I think, I think we did fight against I mean, the I know in the, the first game we did. No, but like in the second one, I think we did fight against them. We were making a mess out of the, uh, the workshop. Yeah, we had to fight them. Yes, I remember some fucking voice lines. So that's definitely another good track. They're all good, what am I fucking saying? Why am I even trying? I can't think of a single track that was a miss. Yeah, okay, swim this way, but we don't talk about this. <laughs> I mean, if, at least it's not Sonic and the Dark Chronicles. Oh, boy. I don't know if you heard about that one. Yeah, yeah, oh, it has been brought up a few times and you keep forgetting it. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, every Sonic game gets a if, if, especially even when they're bad, or especially when they're bad, they get, well, at least the music's good. Not this one. <laughs> Fuck no. I don't know, this one is, this one is torture to listen to. And the, uh, compressed as fuck MIDI, like, sound effects By the way, are not helping. I just want to point out. Oh boy. Hold on. 
<laughs> that was the worst timing for that. Uh, I don't know if this means that Idris Elba is actually a terrible actor or a fucking liar. Fuck off, not both sound so fucking sexy. <laughs> This fucking voice in that fucking trailer. I watched the uh, that trailer yet. Maybe I should. You should. You should. Yeah, I remember. I remember yeah, yeah, he just came up. I just saw but just naturally sounds fucking yeah, sexy. Yeah, no, he just and naturally look, sounds fucking hot. Travis Willingham is still the voice of Knuckles for me. But Knuckles opened his mouth in the fucking trailer. It's like, oh. Well, yeah, no, I, I, I sent him a response, but I heard it, I was like, Oh no, he's so tough! Oh no, he's so <laughs> <laughs> Who said I need your power? You're like, oh! Woo! Oh, man! By the way, uh, Jim Carrey, surprisingly, really rocks the Eggman out of the Eggman look. Ooh. I mean, most of people are like, are like, uh, oh, we are... I will have a terrible Sonic, but you have a great Eggman. Especially at the end. Yeah, most at the end, like the design. Honestly, that movie was pretty fun. Like, let's not, let's not put words on that. Like, was that, is that the fucking video game movie that breaks the curse? I was like, no, Detective Pikachu came just before that. Yep. True, 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 true. And I know this one's a bit more divisive than the Sonic movie for some reason. Let's hope that. Uh, it's Sonic, it's not the, it will not be the last one. I mean, we literally talk about the trailer for the second movie, so... Yeah. No, but like, be, beyond the Sonic and the, like, other, onto other franchise. Like, oh, okay, okay, sorry. Yeah. I'm worried. Like, so I'm not, because I, I was always like, I don't know what the fuck you want to do with that, but okay. Like, my expectations are rock bottom at this point. And it's not and it's not because of Chris Rath, it's because of Illumination Entertainment. I don't know, they made decent stuff. I mean, they were all the despicable memes, and honestly, they were fun movies. Hey, they were I, I don't, let's be real, I don't fucking care about the fact that minions have been abused by the internet at this point. That, that, it's like, look, minions, in the context of their fucking movies, they work. I don't fucking care that the internet abused them. What matters is, is do they still work in their own movies? Yes. That's it. That's what just, it's despicable me, they still work. Yeah, but then they have their own movies. Yeah, that one I didn't see, and that one I'm pretty sure. Because that one was not made... That one was made because of the insane popularity of the... Uh, yeah. Movies. That's the part that's like, oh, well... You should take that with a grain of salt already. Yeah. And then there was also, like, there's... Uh, Yeah. I hear it's actually pretty good. I mean, when you have a movie that's called like that, if the songs are good, I think this movie has done its job. I don't know what the songs are. I don't know how if the, if they sing well and all that's like. Well, I'm not gonna complain about that. That's the movie is literally I mean, called all of, are, all of them are a pop culture reference, but they're sound song well. Yeah. So you know it? Know it? Oh, and the weird thing it's about by the way, the weird thing about favorite is still Johnny. I haven't seen the movie, but I saw bits of his character and uh, things like that. Johnny's probably my favorite character. I. You still love. Really Okay, I never watched a movie, so I don't, I don't know, I'm just saying that. Okay, this one is one that surprisingly is it's amongst the hardest. But, um... What did I want to say? Also, the Sonic movies have surprisingly likable characters. Like Agent Stone? The fucking guy who follows robot? <laughs> and I'm like... I like this guy! He's just random henchman. I like him. I would have liked a little bit more, but... 
as you can see. Because of a weird fucking... Like, he made shitty movies, usually based on video games. Right. Because there is a weird loophole. I don't know the details, but I know that there is a weird loophole in, like, movie funding over there. That basically means that in the long run, it's almost for cheap or almost free. You can just make a movie. So with that, it's like, well, if people go buy tickets to see it... I made There's a profit. There a profit. we go. Yeah. I made a profit. There's a weird loophole about that. I did it. Woo! I think it's something about like if they did under their budget. If they made money under their budget, they will be funded by like, yeah. the government or something. It's uh, it's weird. I would have to remember. Okay, now we could go over there, but uh, nah. We have more worlds, please. Honestly. Yes. Always more worlds. Okay. Here's the kind of travesty a little bit. In, uh, in the OG. That music, as you can see, as you can hear, rather, is made to sound Asian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But as they, it is made to emulate Asian music, in a way. Yeah. In the remix, when they had actual Asian instruments, night and day. Like I hear, I hear them now after like going with the remix version for so long, and it sounds so fucking synth synthetic. Yeah, it does. Honestly, I mean, but I, I can't, I, Fields, I say this, but Fields of Honor is by far my favorite comparison, comparison example to send anyone when I talk about why the remix music is so much better. I mean, I, I sadly can't remember much of it. I'll but, uh, fucking show you guys. <laughs> yes, for sure. Like, this part does not sound as good. The original version. Man, is this the, uh, no, no, there is no, there is no remix for now. There's, there's no remix. Sadly, they have to. Uh... And, and I mean, obviously, I mean. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm not talking for a bit. Yeah, this, this part can get a little bit rough. So, I mean, <laughs> obviously... Well, like, like, you definitely agree with you. The, the HD version smashes the OG so hard. The oh, same man. happened in FF10 with movies and memes. Do you remember that one? Nope. Well, I don't know the names of the tracks of FF10, so maybe oh, I did hear about it, but 
Maybe I did hear it, probably, but I don't know the Sadly, I don't know the rest of the names of the, of the songs either. I mean, I know some of them, but even like they're, they're like vague memories from watching theater them and like seeing the um, uh, the songs being announced for what what's gonna play while we're uh, fighting in the city. Yeah. Cause yeah, I have that too. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, that's it. I don't remember where I was going with all that. Though. That was a long session of lightning health focus, buddy. Sadly. <sighs> but yeah, that is definitely my favorite point of comparison because it. Which would that would be a incentive to uh, pass around the controller so you can to talk instead of just focusing. Oh, there are teams that will definitely be very thematic for that. Don't worry. You will see. We already unlocked two out of four. Yeah, we're getting we're getting close to the. And honestly, those are the two teams where basically it makes sense that I'm playing because of the character that is the leader of the party. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can already somewhat guess what the others would be simply by the groups of characters we have. You can actually, you can probably guess a few. <laughs> they all fucking okay. They're all stone faced. They did. They okay. Well, at least you're hearing the OG version I'm talking about right now, so... Like, that's probably gonna... Like, I'll probably make you listen to the remix version, it's gonna hit you hard. Near that wall. Okay, yeah, that's the... Uh, that is that is gonna be... They have an Eru with them? I think that's the name. But yeah, I... The Japanese... Uh, the Chinese violin. Yeah. What they're trying to emulate here. Like you can hear it's supposed to have that instrument. Yeah. But when they actually have it... Yeah, I know. Oh! I mean, I still remember... By the way, I love that instrument! I know, I do too! I still remember, I, I will still stand by uh, the uh, well, Hubris in Soul Calibur 2 being my favorite battle theme. Possibly of all time. In any fighting game. Because it's so fucking good. I always love the, the sound of death. The Eru is so fucking good in that one. I think that's why I always go for the traditional, like, Chinese music, like, radio channel in Sleeping Dogs. Because <laughs> it's like, that thing is there, I'm like, I love the sound of that thing. Someone who uh, who would have gone through sleeping dogs with you. Hey, I should finish it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you do know what happens like towards the end and all that. Like, you do know how the story goes. And all that, right? Oh shit! So there might actually be some legit surprises. Yes. Oh shit! Oh shit! Um. That's gonna be oh fun. no, there are a few things where you're like, oh, whoa, uh. oh god. Oh no! I do remember the. I mean, we're not gonna talk about it because that is one of those games where, honestly, at some point, we should do that. There's something about that game where it's like, honestly, at some point, I need to think of it. <laughs> Anybody? And I'm not really big so I'll just. Alright right, then. Well, in that case, I guess this means we could end the stream here. I mean, we have a. Yeah, I mean, we. we... We are about to, uh... We're not I mean, quite halfway there, but we're... Yeah, close. no, Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts 2 is, uh, has a lot of tracks. Yeah, no, there's for sure. so many, but, like, duh, of course. So, hopefully, this means that next Sunday we'll, uh, we'll be able to continue that. Because, and I'll admit, I'm enjoying this a lot more than I anticipated, because I think to have just that thing in the background, but also bringing up so many conversations of... Yeah. A lot of stuff about the past, like... I like that! It's kind of nice! 
even though a lot of them turned out to not have been that directly related to Kingdom Hearts, <laughs> it was it's it was so fun. It's just a chatting stream. Yeah, just to hang it out. Yeah, it's cool. A chatting stream where sometimes the chatting has to fucking stop, because otherwise I fucking can't. <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore. Uh, you know what this means, though? This means that before we end all this, there's one thing I have to do. Oh, well, there's that too. Give me all those bonuses. Cool. Let's fucking have it unlocked. <gasps> <laughs> One of the factors as to why I did that. One of them. Let's fucking unlock it. Let's go. So yeah, no, seriously, thank you all for, for tuning in. And I know we've only seen my chibi from Alien, but do not worry. We will see the other. I'm or so one thing excited. I could do is maybe end on the full thing. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, never mind. I'll keep that. I'll keep that for when uh, everybody has been shown. Okay, hold on. Well, now I ju we just have to fucking hear it. Let's go. Huh? That's the first time I hear the the melee. Uh, the the melee theme. Ultimate. No, it's it's the melee theme. Oh, you can change the uh, the uh, menu or music. Really? I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Did you press that? Because, no, I pressed... If you press plus for some reason, it decides... No, no, that's not to confirm. You're putting... You're going random. Like, why? I'll fucking know. Shut up. Fuck you. Alright, let's... Let's find that fucking stage. And of course... My boy. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, I don't know, who's the, the, you know what? Let, let's change, let's change begin, we'll decide. Alright, I was about to say, welcome to my fucking world, asshole! <laughs> Rector! <laughs> what? Three, two, one. Hey, I finally have a trap! Kill him! I shall! What my boy go? I see it's amazing how how quickly you picked up on uh on some of the smash reveals. Okay. Fair enough. Oh! You almost got me! Welcome to Baldia Memory! Alright, I wanted to check if you would actually fall for it, like an idiot. Ooh! I just rolled right into it. Aha! Eat shit, fucker. <laughs> Fucking break your shield. Now, pretty soon we're gonna be transitioning to the other part of the stage. Oh, not bad. 20 seconds. I believe that's it, right? I don't know. But remember. like, last star for last minute? Yeah. That's the great combo to do. That's an amazing launcher. That too, to be fair. Yeah, you left yourself open, motherfucker! Eat shit, fuck. Eat sh okay, no one. Simple and clean. Yeah. Like that was not intentional. Honestly, that whole fucking transition is amazing. Who is it? Yeah, let's see. It's not gonna be Sora because I'm. It's here. Aqua. Yay! My girl. Oh, you got me good. But you'll get him better. Yeah, we fucking love you, Aqua. 
So use your uh, blackouts. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, did it. Well, I'm glad I finally unlocked that track. It was all worth it. <laughs> I have all music now. Okay, hold on. Do you want what is possibly the weirdest assortment of random fucking bullshit? Oh wait, I forget. For Smash? Which, I think I know what you're Like, doing. okay, let, let's see where I'm going. Are you looking for the living room? Yes. Okay, right? Because the living room is one of those stages right. where you can put nearly every fucking song. Down? Okay. Where's the fucking Nintendo Nintendo one? Okay, down three, left one. Oh Jesus! I was looking at there the wrong go. car scheme. All right. Burning down. Oh my God! I forgot that was. <laughs> okay, let's have Kingdom Hearts Man, Persona Man. Uh. Steve from fucking Minecraft! <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see another thing that was like so out of fucking left field. I know this huh? That could work too, but honestly, I'm looking for. Wow, where is he? There's so many characters. Which one are you Solid fucking snake! <laughs> As a Shante track is playing! <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Look at this fucking image! I remember an image I saw of, like... If you told me this uh, this is a screenshot for the latest Smash game uh, 20 years ago, I would have called you a liar. <laughs> Which I mean, fair enough. Oh, look at the doggy! I would get I I would get so distracted in this fucking stage just because of the, I'm watching the doggy all the time. I'm distracted because I'm thinking of Shante. I mean that's fair enough. Watch out for the hamburger! Yeah, this sounds great out of context. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> out of context. I mean honestly, even in context, it, <laughs> it makes very little sense. Man, this whole fucking setup is insane. I mean, and also the fact that like this is the same stage that where you could play Megalovania. Yeah, we didn't even talk about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, got me. And some fucking Cuphead. That can also be played in that stage. Great. Floral Fury. Steve out there! I'm like, what the did fuck? You, did you ever play uh, Cuphead? Nope. Well, for the longest time, it was like an Xbox Xbox One exclusive. Uh, now it's not the case anymore. I could totally buy it on my PS4, PS5. So, I mean... Oh, the Switch. Yeah. And you also have a, a new... Uh, what's her name? Um, uh, it's Grail. Holy Grail, yeah, or something. That's her name? Yeah, she's the Holy Grail. Oh. Jesus Christ, what is happening here? Bye, Snake. I thought it would add a simpler name for uh, for the, the, the new Victoria, character. I don't know, Cub Girl might not come out very well when you think about the internet. So, I mean... Hold on, let me just... Oh, to be fair, she's literally a container for fluids, so I mean... Okay. The internet is... Uh... I don't know, you say that, but somehow the weirdest thing in context for what the... Uh, how Miss people might... Chalice. Yeah, uh, for how people might be uh, imaginative is Quiet from Metal Gear Solid 5, which drinks through his skin. And I'm like, well, I know where this is heading. She is voiced by Greg Griffin. She has a voice? Uh, for the Cuphead show. Oh! I forgot that was a thing. Okay, I was getting very confused. I was going to say, like, there's a Cuphead show? Yeah, by Netflix. So, alright, so this is a screenshot. Take that in, and... <laughs> This was Melody of Memory for the moment. Next week we will probably continue mem 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 Memory of Melodies. And thank you oh, for tuning in. And until next time, of Melody. Yeah. Said, it's, <laughs> this is now a mess. See you, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>